insane. Fuzzy Pirate, thank you. That's 25 months. Two-year badge. I'll have it out before sunbreak, I promise. Alright. Daryl appears to be crying. <laughs> that's, that's great. So I think we're going to do... We're going to unlock Banbarrow. Because I want to get this thing going. You've been asking for it for a year? I mean, you asking for it's not going to do anything. Oh. God, that's ugly. Uh... We're gonna do a hunting horn. Turn up below. Good afternoon. Good evening. We could go Kulu. That doesn't seem like that would be bad. We could also go Dodagama. Some people said they like the Dodagama hunting horn. It does have blast. When is it my turn to get blown? <laughs> Can I swing you around and play songs from you? Is Dodagama really better than, like, Bone? I mean, it would be accessible immediately. I guess iron would likely have, it has a lot more white. Does Zotagama get white? I think Dodagama is probably only good because of the decos. I bet you ore is better without decos. And it's also probably easier to upgrade. Yeah, I'm not going to have any decos, so that doesn't really, doesn't really do too, too much for us. It's really just a matter of whether the blast would be worth it or not. And it, it might be. It very well might be. I think if I went, like, with a handicraft charm, Bone would possibly come out ahead. Good job to everyone who survived the adpocalypse. It's still kind of going a little bit. Just, just, just one more day. I want one more day. I need it for my, my, my statistics. And then we'll, we'll go back down to a more... A less um, predatory, <laughs> like, lack of a better term, a, a less predatory amount of of advertisements. <laughs> we we still might also do the um, we might do just like the watch party at the end of the day. I don't know how quickly I'm gonna get through Shara. Six hours might be enough. I mean, I want to watch the show anyways, so it's like, fine. I'll watch it. I don't know how many people even have Amazon Prime, or at least have Amazon Prime linked to their account. Will I be live in eight hours? The, the stream will be on in eight hours. Will I be live in eight hours at 7 p.m.? That's a long time from now. <laughs> Maybe. I'll probably be eating. Uh, the Boys, season three, episode one. It's a very 
very difficult question to answer with any degree of certainty. Take an emergency for you to get to pr for you to get prime. Waiting is cheaper. What is it like 120 or so dollars a year? It's something like that. Um, I mean, I get it. I just I do almost all of my shopping off of Amazon. Blevins, Blevins ninety three. No relation, I'm assuming, to Tyler Blevins. Thank you for your prime. Watch any of the boys, so I have to tell you what happened in the first two seasons. I don't want to spoil anyone that hasn't watched it yet. There are There is a, a corporation that basically manages superheroes. And they are kind of heroes, but they're also like Dicks, so be careful with Amazon shopping. The warehouses are crazy. Like in what way? You have to pee in bottles? You're not allowed to form a union? Yeah, those are pretty bad. Didn't one did what did one warehouse get a uh, a union yet? I can't, I can't remember. I don't know if they if they got that to go through or not. I know the uh, Blizzard Activision people got a union. Amazon is a harder job than yours. Yeah, it's the very the if you are a a, a uh, product retriever in an Amazon warehouse. That is, by all accounts, a very uh, physically demanding job. And it's consistently physically demanding because they, they push you according to your own individual physical limits. But apparently the pay is okay. Hourly rate is apparently not that bad. So, I don't know. Take that for you, well. I'm getting so many bones, I don't even know if I need them. I don't know, if, if you had a choice between running around grabbing boxes all day and having to work in like public facing retail, I think it would actually be a hard decision. You hate working for Amazon, half the managers don't care about us and want to push out numbers, while the other half are actually really nice. It's nice that you have half your managers that are really nice. <laughs> You're looking at the half as uh, half empty. Why don't we get a little bit like that glass is half full? You could just as easily end up in a job where everyone's a dick. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hate to be that way, but I've worked in a number of American workplaces, some of which everybody's increasing levels of insane. So. Well, I know one person from chat, Isaac, worked for Amazon in the fulfillment center and ended up uh, getting promoted, and now he works <laughs> six couches, by the way. Six couches. Uh, now he works like doing programming or something like that. He works in the um, Amazon Web Services or something like that. Yeah, although this is one of my favorite couches, to be fair. Jen was talking about the other day how, how she would actually... I told her how I was... We were, we were couch shamed. And she said that we could donate one of the couches. And I said no. I don't think I've ever had a truly kind mentally stable manager before.
No, there was a time in college I had a good manager. Donate to satisfy the pleb little billionaire strat. Just to shelter your assets. Is there more ore over here? We're gonna leave anyways. It doesn't really matter. I keep trying to tell people I owned all these couches. Most of these couches before I started streaming. Hope I'm having a good day today. I watched some anime and that was fun. I got caught up on Spy X Family. What a delightful little show that is. I think even non-anime watchers would enjoy it. You love your boss? He sits in your office across the mine and he goes downstairs. He also asks if you need anything. Seems like a good guy. How much of my net worth is in couches? I mean, everything's in investments. I mean, I keep some liquid, but for the most part, I just invest everything. Which is uh, genuinely probably the, the right thing to do. Liquid couches. I mean, I don't have like a waterbed couch. That's what people are trying to insinuate. John, hello. So the pure crystal, I think, is from the other area. But we'll, we'll go here for now. Try and get the fire cell stone. Only been here for 115 days or so. I invite you to Memorial Day barbecue. That's nice. Winning time in HBO Max yesterday. What's it about? Sounds okay. Do I have a waterbed? No, I don't like waterbeds. I don't think they're good for you. I think they're like bad for your back. Whoa. It's about Ma Magic Johnson's sex life. What is your boss a, uh, a reservist in the Navy or something, Chaos? That's what it sounds like. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do, like, a weird sex thing, water beds might be nice. She's turbo pregnant. That's going to be hard training with a baby. Oh, you love water beds? Oh, just for the weird sex things. How about the sleep on? There's not a mining outcrop. I can only remember getting pure crystals from the Horfrost Reach, but I'm sure there's other ways to get it. Certainly getting enough Altalite ore. For a while, I went through a phase where I just like sleeping on the floor. Water beds are definitely real. I've sat on one before. That sounds awful. The sleeping on the floor was great. I not wake up in pain every day. I just kind of like sleeping on the floor, man. I don't know. I'm just telling you. I don't do it anymore. I had like a pad or something underneath me. It was like a, like a feather bed or something. It was more like a mattress topper. I just felt like sleeping on the floor. I don't know what to say. 
Do I need one of those or I need two of those? Yeah, like, beds are comfy, but they're not necessarily good for you. I'm not trying to, like, push people into floor sleeping. I'm just saying. I needed two. I think I needed two as well. That sounds right to me. Podcast VOD's over. We might do one more day of Adpocalypse uh, because I, I'm trying to get a little bit more data on it. Um, just to see what happens when it's over and then what those numbers look like because it looks it looks a little sus it looks it looks a little bit sus the data I'm looking at yeah, I mean in a good way actually not not in a bad way yeah it's definitely sussy I hope they keep doing it though. I would I would not mind trying to plan out 24 hour streams at the beginning of every month going forward if they keep doing this. You heard me say maybe I should go back to Bogon? Well, ask me what me in 2022 says. <laughs> Am I going to bed shame you? No. No, I'm not. I'm not shaming anyone for what they choose to sleep or sit on. Sleep on a bed of nails? How is that? <laughs> I thought it was quite funny. I mean, it is funny. It is a funny thing to hear me say. I mean, gunning used to be dangerous in the sense that like, you could just like die. It's weird seeing you actually live. I'm definitely not live more than I am live. I've not been doing too many 12-hour streams. Am I going to play Switch Sunbreak on the Switch at all? Uh, I'm not going to say no. But at the same time, if you ask me, like, when do you plan on playing the Switch, I can't give you a good answer. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't really say anything. How was the party? Uh, I got reasonably intoxicated. That is a pure crystal from a blue spot. COVID party? Nobody was coughing. And I'm going to drop $5,000 in Diablo Immortal? So weird, man. So weird. Exposed chest? Nah. Nope. Thought I stopped drinking? Well, I heard you were coming back in the chat and I needed a way to prepare myself. Okay, you'll leave. All right, see you later. I think it's the way to go. Is there not like a guarantee guaranteed drop rate for gems or whatever in Diablo Immortal? Is there not like a, what is it, like a pity gotcha or anything? That's sad. Oh wait, no, we want that. We never got a brute bones, huh? Should I try and get those? That's kind of annoying. You get a pity legendary crest one a month. But I don't even know. Like, I don't understand. Like, you got to give me, like, the context. Like, what's what's the equivalent of, like, a legendary crest? Is that, like, the equivalent of, like, um, 
like a five star pull or something in like a Genshin. I mean, it's new Diablo, and there's a lot of people out there that are either A, like, nostalgic for Diablo, or B, just, like, willing to suck up whatever garbage Blizzard sprays out. Like, I'm not necessarily actively going out of my way to boycott Blizzard Activision. But at the same time, I'm not going to give them the time of day unless they either A, somehow create an actually like extraordinary product, or B, like maybe consider treating their employees better across the board. I don't know. <laughs> like I, One or the other, I would, I would consider like thinking... A little bit more about it. Isn't it Microsoft now? I mean, do you think, like, the mid-level managers change? I don't... I don't think... I don't think that's really... Something that, that changes overnight. I'm sure Microsoft is doing something to try and improve the company in some way because they own them now and they don't want there to be another like expose of them getting annihilated in the press. There's just, there's so many good video games out there that you can play uh, for either completely free or with like a reasonable monetization that playing something where you know, you could be compelled to spend thousands of dollars. It just doesn't make sense to me. I just don't know, like, how how game-changing is, like, a legendary gem. Like, I know what gems are in the context of Diablo. But at the same time, like, I don't... Like, what is, like, what is the thought process going through somebody's head as they're trying to get, like, a legendary gem and they've spent $5,000? I guess that's what I'm trying to figure out. You know what I mean? Bye, Apollo. I mean, from all all accounts, you know, Diablo Two Remastered was a good remaster, like just. I don't know. Just play that, maybe? So we're going to want that. Which means I can't really use that. I would have liked that, but I can't have it. Um, I mean, maybe I'll make the legs. I don't know. Skull on my character's helm is alarming. I hate it. <laughs> I, I hate so much in every way the way it looks. Uh, I think we're going to make that. Shadows, Shadows thank you. Gems and Immortals like another piece of armor in your armor with skills, and it levels up with more skills and stats. It sounds really important. Don't use it then. It's got a handicraft on it. It's pretty good. Mm. 
Yeah, we're gonna do the rest bone. Oh, we do have a Vitality Deco. I didn't even realize that. Oh, that's actually really helpful. Inventory expansions only last the season? In Path of Exile? Excuse me? <laughs> I thought those were permanent. Go to Ruricon stream and read the sentence at the top of the screen. Okay. Ooh. Not happy. <laughs> Not happy. How much did he spend? Did he spend money? I'm not judging. Zero? Okay. Well, fair enough. But he's still playing. In spite of that. These guys are really annoying. It's like they won't... Yeah, Diablo just seems pretty, I mean, not that we should, any of us be surprised, but it seems pretty, pretty money grubbing. You four dog, you just, you just did a quad dog? You quad dogging? <laughs> quad dogging, bro. He wants to do an honest review for it? I mean, fair enough. Yeah, reasonable. Um, I, I think, I think Rory Khan should have been invited to Capcom EU to be part of the people that, um, got access. Yeah. I mean, he's actually, he's lit literally and actually EU, so. Sure. I don't know, Chaos. I, I mean, I, look, I mean, I could be, um. All sorts of things, but I, I thought there were good parts of Diablo 3. Obviously, the real money auction house is screwed up, but th there were aspects of the gameplay loop that still felt fine. Promise you'll be nice, you'll learn your lesson. I don't even remember what happened, but that, that might have been a hard day for you. For me, it was a day I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, Dave, I don't know where he is right now. I think he is in the UK somewhere, but I, I'm, I'm, I think he had a house built there. Oh, it's my birthday. Oh, yeah. I thought the Paragon points yeah, were a fun, baby. like, long-term oh, thing to grind for. All that I played Diablo 3 on release. I did. Eat it. Yeah. Did Kanta get access? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know, guys. I mean, you're you're asking me. I mean, I don't. I I I have barely watched any of the things. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what do you what do you want? What do you want from an action RPG? To never get stronger, to always be challenged. If you play in hardcore, then lots of things are different. Yeah, Dungeon Siege 1 or 2 are pretty great. Dungeon Siege 2 is amazing, actually. I love that game. Oh, man, bro, there you are. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Yes. 
Does an RPG turn into an action RPG when your button presses matter? You can make the argument that, like, Paper Mario is an action RPG. I don't even have self-improvement anymore. Multiplayer online battle arena. Sounds pretty extreme. I'm trying really hard not to spam like echo note. Because it gets kind of boring. Echo note. I just said I don't want to do it. <laughs> Are you not listening? <laughs> what What are my conditions for spamming Echo note? When When would it be okay? I don't have to. I do usually use the impact waves. Didn't realize how much you missed watching me play world. It's a nice thing to say. On the last card? Okay. I mean, when can I use it otherwise? Am I allowed to use it otherwise? It's okay if the answer is no.
just use it. Who cares? I do. I can't. I didn't, it wasn't like somebody's, like, Kinezes is sitting outside my solarium, charged up with plutonium, ready to detonate if I used Echo Note. Alright, here. How about how about I use it once and you just tell me how it feels, okay? So be a totus is there, right? See, hold on, I haven't done it yet. I, I actually, I'm not. I'm being prevented from using it. I could actually like die here. Sounds like an excuse. You feel uh, somewhat hostile today, Fuzzy Pirate. You feeling a little hostile today? A little, a little on edge? What's going on? Here's an echo now. It's like good damage. But it's also like super boring. I mean, the damage isn't even, like, that much higher than, like, a super male, though, to be fair. Today's your last day before your weekend, so you just want to go to work? That's cute. Okay. Sorry to hear that. It looks cool. You don't want to go? No. I don't know what to tell you. Got a whole. Got a whole lifetime of. Doing things for money that otherwise people would not want to do. He's looking all funny. Wait, your second dinner? Sounds pretty nice. Is that like a regular thing? Bandro is also spamming moves. I mean, he's the monster. He's allowed to spam whatever he wants. This is like, I think my first time actually mounting a monster. I don't know, at an Amazon center, they might actually just throw you a diaper and say, get to it then. <laughs> not, not the friendliest of places.
That was Mel doing today. He looks pretty good. He's, he's, he's glowing. It's radiant. ever hit. No. How was the hole today? I actually had a conversation with the whole guy this morning. Yeah, thank you for asking. Is Maldi taller? He's. It looks like he's grown a little bit. He just keeps running. <laughs> He's sucking my blood. He's morbid on me a little bit. All right, let's shrink him down a little bit. Put you down to size. This is like incredibly unnecessary, but people in general like it. Am I worried Maldi gets too powerful? He'll assert me? No, he'd probably take care of me in my old age. People, people get excited about the triple wave, impact wave wake up. I mean, honestly, like a, like a, a back slam is probably fine. <laughs> but, but the impact wave, I mean, it's got a little, a little panache to it. Something it can do that you'd like work up to. Trauma do you think his skull took? He's just sleeping. He's actually completely fine. That's not even a concussion. It's safe for him to sleep. I was just giving him little doses of melatonin every time I hit him. Huge fan of expert on hunting horn, but whatever. How do you think level four decos will work in Sunbreak since the crafted rather than random? Was that confirmed in an official developer interview? There's Sunbreak screenshots showing level 4 deco slots, so how does that confirm that they're not random anyways? They're there. That's all we know. 
So how do you know they're not random? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could make your own custom ones, but... They could have random decos and random talismans, or they could have random talismans and crafted talismans. You never know. They could flip it. I would say, by far, no matter what the players say, having the world system was better. People felt better in the end game. So, I was under the impression that it was, they were both going to be random. I know you disagree, Fire Cannon, but I'm just telling you. How long did post-game world last versus Rise post-game? Player satisfaction was probably better for a very short period of time in Rise. You were able to get to your ideal power spike better. They should have a better system than, like, Tempered Zenogre. I agree. Or Tempered Lunastra or Teostra or whatever. I agree. It should be better than that. You didn't play the Iceborne Endgame because it wasn't fun for you? I mean, understandable, I guess. I don't know. Tempered's in Rise. Nope. You know, because I already have, like, a Vitality 1 deco, I think I'm kind of okay with just Health Boost 1. Well, I kind of want these arms, actually. What am I doing? Rise gave a lot of content creators a temper? Did some content creator yell at you? <laughs> That's not nice. Who yelled at you? I'll speak up to them. You just walked in on a speedrunner who couldn't stop slamming the game? Okay. My temper's about to come out? I just wanna... I don't I don't want Radical Corvine getting picked on, that's all. I thought somebody yelled at them. I would defend them. <laughs> the way they said it, though, was really funny, though. It gave me a, a chuckle. Remember that one Rise Kezu clip? I'll remember it. You only get to yell at us? It, it comes from a place of love. I just spent a lot of money on potions. That's okay, though. They're just... I mean, look, it's, it's not... There's a lot of things that we could all independently do to theorycraft things that would make for a better Monster Hunter endgame. And, and, and some of those might genuinely better be better than what we normally get. But for the most part, I've been pretty satisfied with what they've done in the series. It's been different. It's been a little bit different from time to time. Sometimes better, sometimes worse. But I think for the most part, the game itself is still better than any other game I play. So... got yelled at because you triple carded while trying to power up and that pushed you away from it on PC. Um, I mean, that just sounds like you, you were playing with somebody that wasn't fun to play with. You know, that maybe was or was not gatekeeping. I, I don't, I mean, I, I can't change the way you feel about that, but don't, don't play with people that make you feel that way because that's not good. 
one of the best experiences I, I feel like that you can have as Monster Hunter is, is play with somebody that's learning the game, help them overcome a power hurdle for them. Um, so that they can go back to enjoying the game. Like, you think about... I think about, like, Monster Hunter Freedom or, like, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. And if I had somebody that just helped me with, like, um... Yan Garuga or like dual G rank Tigrix, I would have probably kept playing and enjoying the game a lot more. I mean, it was satisfying eventually going back and beating them on my own in a way, but. I mean, anyone, anyone and everyone will cart so often eventually. It just happens. You get a little extra greedy, and then you die. I mean, unless you want to play a way where, like, you know, every time you take a hit, you run away and slam a max potion. But where's the fun in that? Valstrax and Thunderlords and Ogre cart you consistently? I mean, they're pretty strong. Valstrax especially. I feel like I've gotten to the point where I'm pretty good with Thunderlords and Ogre. With a little bit of practice, I'm, I get kind of into the swing of his fight. He's weird because he never slams like more than twice in a row, unless it's part of an extended combo. Am I using Echo now? I used it like twice in the last quest. We cool if they added more subspecies in Sunbreak than the previous games. I think we're going to see a lot of subspecies, yeah. Well, that's good of you, Bazooka. Helping people out with Safis. That's really good of you. I mean, yeah, I mean, Valstrax, I think, does have some kind of weird shot hit zones, right? And I think with with Zenogre, I think you almost have to get used to the um, dodge bolt timing. One of the magic is still a Valstrax yesterday? That's amazing. <laughs> hey, Zeus, here's Kezu. Hello. Which gathering system do you like more? World or Rises? I prefer the gathering system of... I had to pick one. This is going to sound This is gonna sound really upsetting, but I'm going to say it, and it's going to be up there. I think Monster Hunter Generation Ultimate kind of hit the best balance with gathering. Because you could hold a button to like auto gather, but you still need pickaxes. And like there's an actual gathering skill. Yeah. I know it's weird. I know. No, I think I think it did a good job actually. But it was the beginning of the end. I'm not even talking about using prowlers to gather. I'm not saying that at all. I mean, Arise, like, gathering is an afterthought. I mean, gathering is, like, how you make money. And GE go cat together, though, that is anti-gathering skill slander, and I will not hear it. This challenge was to broken your brain? It's objectively true. Built-in fast gathering with 
the ability to see the gather spot and hold the button to gather is all the quality of life that you should have. You should not have infinite pickaxes and, and uh, bug nets. So we're going to go back and we're going to do this properly. World gathering with pickaxes and nets would help a little bit. I mean, I just feel like it should matter. Like, I feel like the things in your inventory should matter. Uh, I mean, 300,000 after an hour is enough for, like, three weapons. If I only use cosmetic mods, do I have anything to worry about when Sunbreak comes out? You should probably nuke, uh, make sure your save is backed up and nuke your install file, hey Zeus. Y you shouldn't, you don't want to risk anything, in my opinion. Hated this fight. I kind of like him. Use Fluffy Mod Manager. I mean, just make sure everything is disabled. Make sure the, um, what is it? The D input 8 DLL is deleted. Probably not a bad idea. There's actually a couple different ways to mod rise. Some go into, like, a Resident Evil folder. Others are, like, pack files that can be installed with, like, a, a mod manager. Or, like, a corner of your sandwich. Yeah, if it's like the end, yeah. It's just the smart thing to do. Like, there's no... You know, you, you may as well pl play through the base game stock anyways and then start worrying about the mods. I feel like the only real spiking difficulty in Master Rank is... Very off? That guy's terrifying. Nightshade Palomu? <laughs> it's like baby monster. Do I feel like Rise Basil is more common than World Basil? His his attack patterns are all much more consistent. Which, I don't know if that makes him calmer, necessarily, but easier to predict depending on your weapon. But harder if you don't predict him at all. I feel like if you don't, if you just, like, try not to figure out anything he does, like, you'll get surprised a lot. Black Veil sucks without my Asthma Deco. There is a very good chance I'll be fighting Black Veil without <laughs> my Asthma Deco. There is a reasonably big chance that that's going to happen. Hey, man, bro. Supposed to fight Valve that deco? I mean, that's pretty much the only reason for that skill to exist. Do you guys prefer old snow hole or do you prefer old skid marks? Banbro was down here? Banbro walks down here? Really? Huh. I didn't know that. Everybody prefers the holes over the skid marks.
Tail goes kind of far. Like a little bit farther than you used to from normal Toby. Should have brought the pink meats. I usually do. That I think I could just ignore. Okay, ignore the normal poison. Probably can't ignore the toxic though. Forgive me for my sin. I'll use the um, impact echo wave though. No, 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 no. Get off! Get off! No! <laughs> Why? Who's here? Oh. That's kind of lucky for me. Good time to sharpen. I love the Encore attacks. They're the coolest. Is World the most fun hunting horn out of any generation? Recital into Encore attacks is probably the most fun you can get. Yeah. In my opinion. It just fits like Hunting Horn the most as being a way to attack while also playing songs. Like thematically, it just like makes sense, right? Because like there's a little bit of like um, a commitment to the move. They tried something new in Rise. Like I don't, I don't dislike Rise hunting. Point. Some people do. I don't know why. The only hunting horn that I kind of dislike is like Freedom Unite hunting horn, <laughs> like those hunting horn. Like I'm sorry, but like the slowly reciting songs with like mostly a super pound style only gameplay loop is just not that fun. It's 
just not. Like, and I, I'm as, you know, I'm, I'm almost as boomer as you get when it comes to Monster Hunter. <laughs> and even I can be like, that's not a good way to play the video game. You don't play the tunes, you just hit the buttons and boom, you got the thing. There's a uh, Switch skill that actually has you play. And it actually kind of matters. Like with Sonic Waves, you can make it so you have a song that actually does damage. Not a lot of damage, but it does do damage. I mean... It's like, it, is, it does change the way Hunting Horn is played a little bit, but it actually allows for like actual aggressive play style. Like I, I, I would argue that most of the people that voted, I mean, I, I agree it should be optional, but it should be optional not to include it. Like the people that are voting like to keep it the classic way probably didn't actually ever play um, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite Hunting Horn. They're just like, oh, it should be preserved for preservation state. And I agree, the option should be there, but like, I don't know, that's the way, the, immediately in Frontier, they realize that style of playing songs is actually kind of bad and not fun. That's where it came from. Don't listen to me, though. I'm just the guy that, after grinding out style ranks for literally hundreds of hours, decided to invest in Hunting Horn and unlocked a, a move that was literally like plunging a toilet. <laughs> so, I might be... I might have a lot of weird emotions wrapped up in, in second-gen Hunting Horn. You can't even, like, if you could swing out of the Super Pound, like in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate or Portable 3rd, it would actually be fine. Like, I wouldn't have any issues with it at all. But instead, like, we're just plunging a toilet over and over again. That's just the thing, like, the, the Rise version of Hunting Horn is just, like, fun to play. For the most part, it's fun to play. It's a little bit brain dead at times, but it's still fun. And there's lots of brain dead things. Plunging toilets is only fun if you successfully remove the claw. <laughs> I'm going to the wall, right? What's he looking at? thing to me is like it felt like they really wanted Hunting Horn to be very powerful and then people like for some reason freaked out over it and it got nerfed from the demo. I'm not saying it should have stayed as powerful as it was entirely in the demo but I feel like it got hit a, like a little bit harder than it needed to. People still don't really play it that much. You know what I would have liked, Toad? Maybe that would have balanced it out maybe a little bit more is if you could build up like an Echo Note meter. I think it was one of your first weapons in the demo. You timed out, but you're not a good video game player. I mean, if you practiced, I'm sure you would have been fine. Yeah, the Echo Note came from, from Iceborne. It's a little controversial because it's very powerful, but... Um... You can still do good damage with the other moves. It's just so easy and so consistent to just fling out. It can get a little bit, a little bit boring if you just keep spamming it. And the thing was, is like critical element hunting horn made it like even stronger. It was very powerful. 
It's only controversial to a few people. I mean, it's controversial to a few people because it's still the most, like, the, the least used weapon in the game. <laughs> like, nobody even knows or cares, right? Like, who else is playing it? Does Huntingorn have the highest elemental crit modifier? Uh, elemental crit is variable across weapons, but yes, Hunting Horn and Gunlance have fairly high elemental crit modifiers. Link that to rise where every weapon just spams one move string over and over. There's been a, a trend through development of Monster Hunter that has been pushing people towards one specific move over and over again, and I... I I generally don't like it. Gunlance is, I think, the least used rise weapon. But in world, it was Hunting Horn, I believe. Like, True Charge Slash being so powerful is... makes me, makes me a little sad. You know, Slam Sweep on Gunlance being so powerful it makes me kind of sad. I, I prefer that the moves are balanced and uh, useful in different... S scenarios and stuff like that. If Gunlance gets nerfed more, I don't think Rurikon will make it. I've I've got a lot of hope with the uh, the Heat Blade. I mean, at the very le least, the fattest cat, you can always use the skill swap as, like, an absolute evasion. I mean, again, it's like, it's not like there weren't versions of the game that had raw scaling gun lance. Heat blade move? Whatever it is, the little thing that comes out of the gun lance. Wasn't what do they call it? Do they not call it heat blade? Erupting cannon? Erupting cannon sounds funny. Do we know if they're making that awful hammer stance good or fixing it? Uh, they added a switch skill. It might have been a a wire bug move that gives charged attacks additional hits. Why did you get an ad? Whoa. Turd question mark is now a permitted term. <laughs> Wait. That was name calling? <laughs> Did Twitch think you were calling me a turd? <laughs> what are we in grade school? You're a turd! You're a duty turd head! <laughs> Art Shaded Master, that's aggression level three. <laughs> I'll have you know, you're on watch now. Adpocalypse forever. We're doing one more day. Yeah, you got to step it up to get aggression level one. <laughs> Hunting one is really fun in this, but it, it I can kind of tell like it's not... The, the damage is less than what I would expect from other Master Rank weapons. Even though I feel like I'm doing an okay job with it. Like, I don't think I'm doing a bad job with it. <laughs> Butt face. Rando deco farming sucks ass. I mean, it's okay to have different opinions. Like, we don't have to agree on everything.
Reduce the duration of sleep by 30%. That's so exciting. Do I have any? I've got a couple energy drinks, I guess. Too many flash pods. Yo, that is a lot of thunderbugs. <laughs> Why do I got so many thunderbugs? Tempered Zenogre is a fun fight. In multiplayer, he wasn't bad because he'd like do one flinch and everyone would tenderize his whole body at once. You only play solo? I did a reasonable, I don't know, re good amount of Rise Rampage multiplayer, and I think that makes sense. Sunshine, I'm going to grab this. Maybe, it's a, maybe it'll help me later. I guess I could just be capturing things. I haven't really captured anything. I mean, investigations weren't even, like, that good. But they were still, like, better than not having them. You know what I mean? There's definitely better versions, like, you know, guild quests and explorations and stuff. Way better. But. Still better. One forty Gapex Rajang. I mean, that was something that was built into the base game of For You that, like, on release you can go into and like have a big challenge, pretty consistently. Like until you had people like you know doing super degenerate bowgun and or like dual blade things. Like I think that was still a pretty big challenge for people. The um, the charm drop drop mod was was very nice. Depending on what they do with Rise, like if I gotta keep jamming stuff into that cat's butthole, like I'm gonna I'm gonna use that mod. Like I'd I'd be fine if people said it was cheating, but I just can't. I can't do it. I'm sorry, I can't do it anymore. There's a mod that when you do like advanced quests, you get the equivalent of like a charm roll from the cat. Just put it in. Now are we talking about the mod or are we talking about the cat's butthole? <laughs> Just to be clear. Twitch user the fattest cat 27. Looking a little sus. Oh my god, I was... Do you see how close I was to that zone line? That was, like, perfect. Wow. I used to do this thing... Nobody cares. Not one of you cares. I used to do this thing in Freedom Unite where I would memorize the zone line so that when I went to reload my bowgun, I would reload it and step forward uh, and reload and skip the loading animation by the half step I did forward into the zone line. And that always made me really happy when I, when I got it right.
I don't care what you say. I like doing it. And I'll, I'll, well, I probably won't really do it ever again because I'm not going to use Bowgun in second gen. GU has like so much content. GU is just like a never ending buffet of content. What? Who got, who got walled by Nightshade Polomu? Nobody did. Where, where, where is he? Usually he's around here. Is he above me? Where are you? <laughs> He's over here. I'm sorry, okay? I couldn't find him. Whatever, I don't care. I don't care what you guys think. So mad. I'm so mad right now. I'm so angry. <sighs> All right, hold on. There's another thing I can do. Hey Zeus, here's cuz how how many hours did you spend in that one streamer's channel anyway? Like, did you, just, did you just, like, dip in and dip out? Or was it the sort of thing where, like, you, like, Stockholm syndrome yourself into, like, spending, like, hundreds of hours there? I saw he had like a SGGQ Bloodborne run and he, he had a lot of energy that was good. That's all I've ever really seen. I love Bloodborne too. I think it's a good game. I wish we had a better version of it to play than one um, with scuffed frame pacing. I swear to god, this is the worst monster in this series. This is the most, this is like... I say it every time I fight him, but he's literally the worst monster ever created. It's not even because like his... His sleep mode is bad, it's just like... He just didn't have a moveset on the ground. He doesn't do anything. I, I think... I think it's a good thing. I think seeing more games come to PCs is, is good. A, a big thing for me is like game preservation and the more games that get cross-platform releases, especially with a PC release, the better it is for game preservation. Oh no, you didn't even hit me with it. <laughs> Did I already play GU? I played and beat GU up through um, High Rank Village. Not the attack I wanted it to do. 
That was a mistake. <laughs> that was a major mistake. We're gonna go for the triple uh, impact wave. No, okay, that's a trap. Let's see if we can like zip through. You can. Okay, that's cool. I did not know that. Energy drinks. I know. I prepared. I'm gonna do this. God damn it! Not again! <laughs> no! <laughs> that's so long. Go, I know. That's my streamer! Hunting horn always explode like that in the world. What? I mean, energy drinks are a... It used to be a way that you would get uh, stamina back without having to use stakes and stuff in games that didn't let you mass produce stakes. Like in a lot of games you would mass produce, you could like grow plenty of nitro shrooms and honey but you couldn't you didn't like necessarily like have like a large spit or something. And even then, sometimes it's faster to eat an energy drink than it is to eat a steak and it was God damn it. <laughs> oh <laughs> stop Please when you're on the ground. It's like so aggro. Like, give me a break, man. Stuff's usually dead for stamina drop. Depends on the game. And like, if you card it, of course, like, I know that seems like a foreign concept in modern Monster Hunter, but in like old games, like sometimes things would get you, yeah. But you, you might actually die. And then like, you can't eat again in the older games. Like you didn't have like a way to eat food. Oh no. Well, I guess you can't like exist in it. Or you use a left energy here. Stamina would drop faster, you could cart, all sorts of things. You wish people would use the paralysis and sleep darts? They're pretty relatively hard to get in, in the majority of the games. I mean, in Rise, it's not particularly difficult to get things like Mega Dash Juice and stuff like that if you, if you wanted them. Felt like you needed them. And then, of course, like, it's got arguably the best, you know, NPC stamina item thing in the game with the Motley Mix.
for juice to cook a, uh, cook a bunch of fish. You you occasionally I think do get um, Mega Dash juice. How is this thing not dead yet? Uh, with, I mean, with Hunting Horn, you can kind of assume those things are probably going to last about 10 minutes in Master Rank. Twenty to thirty. I think you're thinking of energy drinks and not like Mega Dash shoes. You don't get like thirty Mega Dash shoes. You learned the gourmet fish from me. I learned it from. I learned it from Sufferend, or did I learn it from? Who's the bogan? Cow Slayer. I learned it from one of those guys. It, it's kind of like too powerful to be honest with you. It's like kind of disgusting how strong it is. And it does make it so that you actually have to think really hard about whether or not you want to use Dragonheart or not. It's obviously not compatible with Dragonheart. Forgive me. Forgive my sins. I'm gonna use the notes though, I promise. I'll do it. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do all three of them. You'll see. I tried. I I, I was committed. Off the wall monster, would you like to see? You'd like to see a ram type monster? Does uh, Bandro not count? Bandro? I mean, I just like bugs, dude. You know what I mean? I like, I like all the bug monsters. I don't think there's one bug monster that's like a bad fight. Scorpion? I mean, there's been scorpions in the past. Frontier and Matsuro Online both had scorpions. It's like Akuma Vishnu or something like that. Bring it back. It was really interesting. It had a different status. It would, like, crystallize you. Like, anus your stamina and make you move slow. I think you could die from it. Can't remember. Can't remember if it could kill you or not. You got stung by a scorpion? Were you okay? Are you okay? Uh, well, I would say in almost all of the games, Kirisika, any monster that has a roar roars when they enrage. And in the context of Monster Hunter World, things are enraging a lot. <laughs> so I guess you might see it more often here. Switch weapons for master rank. Um, yeah, I w the. <laughs> what is wrong with my game? I swear to God, I've broken my game. <laughs> yeah, the the vote was like 50-50 for like insect lave and hunting horns. So <laughs> I did, I, I did, I did low rank and high rank with insect lave, and I'm doing master rank with hunting horn. What happened? I just slid off the screen. It was funny. It was stupid. It was just it was just stupid. You didn't miss much. <laughs> so, so dumb. You gonna go work? Enjoy. Or at the very least, tolerate. That's the best thing you can do at work is tolerate it. Use. 
Sometimes monsters will roar multiple times because... Yeah, we've got the Vitality Deco, so I think I'm just going to go for, like, that helm. This helm here. Um, they roar because they're enraged, and then they roar because they're going to leave. They'll, they'll do that. This helm would have been nice. Have a point of weakness exploit. We're probably at the point where it might make sense to start, like, spinning the steamworks. But we're not in a festival, which is kind of unfortunate. A centipede monster would be nice. I don't know if we ever had a centipede. Jira Waste is kind of nice. What's in this game? I don't even know what's in this game. I should have just captured him. I don't know why I keep killing them. I can even save like five minutes a monster if we captured them. Roars them saying bye. It's saying stop chasing me. Will Capcom make a monster where we play as monsters and hunt our friends? I don't know, maybe there'll be a mode in Exo Primal. I know nobody's very excited for Exo Primal, but I'm optimistic. Could have could, could have something. We know it's gonna be a um at least somewhat asynchronous competitive multiplayer game. Stuart, it looks amazing to you too. I mean, I might actually play it. You know, if there's like a mode that isn't just like um, player versus player. Not that I dislike playing fighting games, but, like, if I'm going to play fighting games, like, I'm going to want to have, like, friends over and play in person. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't want to get, like, MMR match made just be getting my ass handed to me, like, every other match, you know? They did Ken dirty? I think his homeless look looks great. When stream the entire Armored Core franchise. In my stream retirement, I would play Armored Core on stream. People are too good at fighting games. You gotta play with your buds. It's better. Would I just play casual then? Are there casual modes out there? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know anything. <laughs> when I think of playing, like, you know, 2D or 3D fighters or whatever, I just think of, like, oh, I'm just going to get my ass handed to me by somebody who is no lifing this game. Thanks. Cool. I love it. Get him! <laughs> yeah, the story mode looks great. Like Final Fight or something looks cool. Oh, he's still going for it, man. Did I play Metal Slug Collection one day before Sunbreak? That's like in the next two weeks. <laughs> Unlikely. But I like Metal Slug. If I'm gonna play a game like that, I'm gonna be working towards doing like a one credit clear. Because it's not gonna be that entertaining watching me quarter feed my way through a arcade game.
That's why when I was sponsored by Capcom to do Mercs, I practiced off stream to get to the point where I could do a one credit clear because I wanted to shoot up the training for people. I guess I probably could have done my practice on stream, but I thought it was cooler to just be like, hey guys, check this out. World done today? We're going to be beating Fatalis, so unlikely to be done today. Uh, possible we'll beat Shara today. Hunting Horn's pretty fun. I mean, I think a lot of people think Hunting Horn's just like a support weapon, but I mean, it does fine damage. I'm going to keep this up. What is after Fatalis? Uh, we're going to do... Rise up to Magnum Wallow with arrow only. <laughs> and then I want to do Mod Center Freedom. I think we're going to do Freedom. If I've got time within the challenge, I'd like, to, I'd like to get that in as well. I might indulge myself a little bit in Freedom. I, I hope you're all willing to forgive me. I think we're going to do it with Sword and Shield. Can you all do that? Can you all just do me that one favor and just be like, be like, it's okay, Shepard, we'll let you do that. Just give me a free one. It's gonna be, um, I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be the Gypseros Sword and Shield and Monster Hunter Freedom. Which is a good design. I mean, you know, in all regards, it looks good. Why is that indulging? Sword and Shield is like disproportionately powerful in Monster Hunter Freedom. It's got, there's like a bug. It's maybe a bug. I mean, it may be intentional where it's like got like an extra 50% damage modifier on raw. So like you've got, <laughs> it's like, imagine if you gave a weapon 100% affinity and like critical boost level four, and then you just released the game like that. Freedom with Bowgun? I just don't want to play Bowgun. I mean, we already did Freedom Unite, so I'm not going to do that again. I'm sure Capcom will give us long sort of 100% affinity for Sunbreak. Yeah, I mean, in that context, it's maybe not even that broken. No, so Timur Podcast, you play a lot of Bowgun. To me, Bowgun was always like a multiplayer support weapon. It was never a weapon I would use solo that often. But I liked it because I could do like status and para and poison and sleep and stuff like that. And in some way, you know, Rapid Sticky kind of follows that trend. It is supporting the monster is being locked down. Apple Bud, hello, good morning. Monster One Demon Isles plus runs against Fatalis were so much fun. I only did plus runs against Fatalis once, and that was in Freedom Unite. Somebody was posting their somewhat weakened Fatalis, and we were just taking taking turns busting it. Does Monster Hunter stories included in your challenge? Yeah, I already beat one and two. Off stream though. So don't look for it in the bugs. This is a fun fight. I love Coral Pookie. Coral Pookie, it's like, it's so fun because, like, I almost feel as if there was shade thrown. Because Coral Pookie is like one of the best subspecies in the game and Nightshade Paloma was one of the worst. 
So there's a hunting horn whose song you really like. I like the song that lets you move fast. I think they'll give us a charm farm quest like GU. Uh, what? Like the Raging Bracky quest? We still don't know 100% sure the exact system there is going to be for talismans or Deco, right? Yeah, maybe. Probably. Sound design and not the buff. I think I like the Guild Palace Horn. The Valkana Horn's pretty good, too. Let's reach. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna do this for all of us. Okay. There you go. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Sleep, sweet summer child. <laughs> just sleep. He's got a lot of life at the end. He just keeps living. Oh, we're gonna need the bathicide ore? That's good. I got it already. I was once in a Discord with somebody and they got really, really angry at me when I told them that capturing monsters in this game gives you four rewards. Like I had offended them personally. It was pretty sweet. I mean, it's not like I was arguing. I mean, it's just like an, it's like an objective reality, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's just like the way it is. I mean, it says it in the game. Some people are weird, man. There's some weird people out there. I mean, you really think about it, some people are just like, what's like, thinking enough hugs or something. I don't know. That's nice. I got an extra attack. That's attack seven. Is that over? Is that going over? I'm already at attack seven. They weren't allowed to be wrong ever. It was very damaging to their ego. <laughs> it's very damaging to their ego. Am I playing outside? I'm like 50% outside. I'm in my solarium. Did they not like you getting more items for slaying? It was more like they remember for old games that it was, you'd normally get like two rewards from capturing, right? Unless you had like a capture expert or something like that. And when I said in world, you get four rewards and they did not know that, it got them like really upset. They did not want to accept that it had changed. Do I stream full time? Yeah, I'm a full time uh, streamer. Sometimes, rarely, YouTube content creator nowadays. Do you have any questions about streaming full-time? Have I dominated the chipmunks and become their leader? No, they're taking over, man. There is actually, like, a little stone wall near my bedroom window, and I looked out it yesterday, and, like, at a perfect angle to look in and watch me sleeping, there was, like, a discarded shell nut. Like, something was sitting there eating while staring at me. What do you think about that? How do you think I feel about that? I mean, it could have been one of you guys. Can we talk about my money? I mean, you could ask. I mean, I don't know if I'll answer, but you could ask. I, I am intimidated. They're not trying to intimidate me. I mean, it's working. That's a warning. Feels that way.
Um, maybe I should bring bombs. I don't know. I don't know that it's going to matter. The most important thing... No, the boy's bounty will probably be at the end of today's stream. The most important thing is to tenderize the arms and get him involved. Do you think people blow the monster hunter losing its core values, blowing it out of proportion? I mean, the only thing that it kind of has lost gradually over time is the importance on preparing for a hunt in the sense that, like, you can always go back to your tent and restock and um, you don't have to bring drinks or pickaxes and stuff like that. Um, but if it makes the game more accessible and it means more people are able to enjoy it, even if it's making the game easier, like, I may not be happy that the game's easier, but I'm definitely happy that more people are getting into the series. Do you know what I mean? Like, I may not like the changes on their own in a vacuum, but, like, as a whole, I'm happy they're happening. Porker Piggins, hello. You know, I would much rather Capcom have had success with Monster Hunter and keep making the game um, than for them to be like, this game's not making money anymore. It's just going to be like a back shelf title that we'll just put entries into periodically. You know, and now Monster Hunter is such a success, the next game is getting like a, somewhere between like a 60 or an $80 million budget. I mean, that's just... I mean, that's just good for everybody. You know what I mean? Like, we should all be happy. ZMTL, hello. Street Fighter goes one button combo route for six. You know, I mean, it, it just, you know, it's... Is it more accessible? Yes. Is it better? I mean, as long as it's, there's still challenging content, I'm happy. And World and Iceborne had plenty of endgame challenging content, and I was happy. Rise had an issue, but um, I'm not too worried about that. I think Sunbreak will course correct. Could you really just get by with bone armor in every rank? Yeah, I could beat the game with the armor that I have right now. Could I beat Fatalis? Maybe not. But I could definitely beat the game. You want a Monster Hunter MMO again? I mean, there's there's work being done from preservation standpoint for both Frontier and allegedly Monster Hunter Online. But I think I think people. Um, overestimate how quickly new content was added to those games anyways. Instead of camp, how about a supply drop you have to choose beforehand? I mean, that's literally what they did in Generations Ultimate. Back shelf Dragon's Dogma. You know what I mean? It's like, you've got to do something to get people to, like, be able to engage with the game better. Like, I'm not against that. The thing is, like, the old games, like, my thing is always, like, the old games are always still there. Like, you could always go back and still play Freedom Unite or Monster Hunter 1 or, or Portable 3rd or 4 Ultimate. Emulation is there where you can always go back and play them. And it sucks that, like, you know, like, new game doesn't have that level of difficulty, but it's, it's fine. It just is what it is. Those of you who didn't know, the reason I'm doing this is tenderized parts take a ton of damage when you wall bang a monster. So I am looking to get him over here so I can wall bang him. Hopefully. This would have been much harder in base Iceborne. Okay, yeah, that should be good enough. Subs should not be getting at. Oh, 
gonna get a KO here. And then I'm gonna go for this. Well, I went through a lot of sharpness there. I'll say this for spin to win. At the very least, um, you have to do other attacks to get into it. Man, that's a lit. It's not, it's not like I'm using, like, rock steady and temporal. I'm just using... Normal mantles. And then you can still use the impact echo waves, and those are pretty fun. You're still playing a song there. It's not that bad, but I still just I still wish it was like a little bit weaker or something that couldn't be used so freely. I'm too lazy to get them, even if I had them, I wouldn't use them. Just get him in a pitfall trap again as well. Are you leaving? <laughs> it's time for Monster to get a new weapon. Doesn't really need a new weapon. You already got the switch skills. Hunting horns like a new weapon. I like how he's just like running away. He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> it's time for magnet spike. It is not time for magnet spike. Sky blue sharpness. Yikes. I'm bullying the kitty. We're just having a fun time. Modifiers and sky blue sharpness. It was a lot. Everything in Frontier was kind of boosted. Green sharpness, from what I remember, was like 1.35, and everything just kind of went up from there. I mean, it's like, you know, they do a really good job at, especially nowadays, giving weapons new and interesting ways to play.
Yeah, I don't have any concept for elemental sharpness scaling in Frontier, but, but Frontier also had, like, multi-elemental skills. So, those were pretty good. I think ultimately a lot of fights, you still ended up seeing people use, like, um, poison. You get a lot of poison users. Because you'd have, like, that elemental chase skill that made you deal more damage to things that were inflicted with a status ailment. Maybe they will redo lands? I mean, there's not really too much you could really redo. I mean, they, they tried to redo it and people started tweaking out. <laughs> so. How would I make Lance popular? I don't know, ma'am. I think people just want to play weapons that deal a lot of damage. It's not like you can go out of your way to make Lance have a huge damage powerhouse and they've already made it so safe by giving you, like, counter and strong counter. Fencing plus two. Fencing plus two, they gave you, like, an extra hit or something, right? I mean, I'm not unhappy with Lance. I think Lance is fine. A lot of issues in Monster Hunter are people problems and not game design problems. Being able to, like, drop your shield in for Lance would be really cool. I like that idea. That's a good idea. I don't know about dual Lance, but I, I don't know. What, what the hell? Why not? You know, giving people the equivalent of, like, Stylish Assault, which will probably be in Rise in some way, um, would probably help as well, because you'd want to do, like, Evasion Lance rather than um, Guard Lance. I mean, so that could help. Does it make Longsword a better Lance? Yeah, it's part of the problem. <laughs> yes, actually. That would be my main criticism of Longsword. You get to deal so much damage so safely. It's not even like it's that hard to land like the counters and stuff. Why am I doing that? I need to drink a hot drink. Not sharpen my weapon. wiggled right out of the way. <laughs> Rise is getting some kind of a wall bang. You gotta get a special bug to do it, but yes, it is. That feels, like, balanced to me, you know, with monsters presumably having, like, higher health pools and stuff like that, giving you a, um, a wall bang that you have to, like, acquire is, is fine. A tenderized helper. I mean... That's essentially water blight. Will there be more reliable ways to blight monsters? Probably. I would assume so. Isn't that chaos oil? Uh, I think as I mean, unless I'm wrong, I think the destroyer oil that we're getting in 
in the game is just going to do increased part break damage. It might also increase the flinch modifier stagger damage, but I mean, we'll have to play around with it to know for sure. So I'm going to get HR 100 for Valstrex armor, but too lazy? Don't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, I would just do it anyways, but if I were somebody that, like, really doesn't care, I just wouldn't, I just wouldn't do it. Do you understand why there's a distinction between two-slot and three-slot decos that felt very arbitrary in World? I mean, it would be unbalanced if you just let people slot in Mushroom Answer 3. Think about how powerful people would be by having Mushroom Answer 3. Be too strong. <laughs> so dumb. If there's one thing I can criticize, it's the distinction between level two and level three decos in this game. I can do that. How obsolete will be in the new rank anyways? I mean, Valstrax armor will make you very tanky for the very first quest you will do in Master Rank. It does have a lot of defense, but you can just slot in Fortify and after two cards you'd be safe anyways. Certainly decided rise deco levels off of world skill popularity. I mean, almost everything's unchanged. For the most part. Attack got a very reasonable upgrade in the chain. Like, I'm glad Attack is a level 2 deco. I still don't understand how Tenderize and Crit Boost are not level 3. My character looks so strung out. <laughs> Guard level 2 also doesn't really make sense. I'm going to go with Insect Lave and Sunbreak. Uh, sun, uh, Insect Lave looks like it's getting some pretty fun stuff. So I can't say I blame you. Meth Head? She's, she's tweaking. Thoughts on bringing back negative skills on armor? You'd have to change the whole skill system. I mean, you can make it so that, like, crit boost decos gave you, like, minus one defense, and that would be actually kind of cool. Make offensive skills give neg negative points and stuff. Have people actually think about it. Maybe minus health. He's right up the streets of Seattle. I loved Seattle as a city, but the homelessness made me very sad. I mean, that's nearly every major American city. It's just sad. Seattle was sad. San Francisco was sad. New York City sad. Real sad. In the new system, you would you would be fr forced to confront the negative skills. You played a bunch of Dauntless this weekend. It was pretty fun. It's pretty fun too. Should donate one of your couches to the homeless. They'd probably sit on it. this fusion deck goes to level four. I don't know if it's going to be that simple. Maybe. See. 
For the entire time I was in Tokyo for like 10 days, I saw like one homeless dude. So they're doing something right over there. I think they just housed them. I think they're like, you're homeless, we'll put you in a home. The housing is also like a lot more affordable in Japan anyways. At least there's a lot of supply of it over there. That doesn't just like infinitely grow in value. The actual structures themselves are actually a depreciating asset. Or they're kicking out the homeless from the city to some other area? <laughs> what are they going to do? <laughs> take, take the homeless and put them on, like, on Mount Fuji? I mean, they got to go somewhere. I think you'd hear about it. <laughs> we got, we got 10,000 homeless people. All on Mount Fuji. I don't, I don't think that's happening. I mean, they might be taking them out of the city for sure, but I don't think they're just like picking them up and like dropping them off in like the middle of the woods or something. It's not like, you know, your dog bit one too many neighbors and your parents decided to bring it to a farm or something. A policy of not seeing for not caring. I mean, if you don't see them, then that means that at the very least they've been sheltered. It's not like I don't care anymore. It's just they're they're presumably like in at least a safer area than like literally on the streets. Building trebuchets, homeless delivery system. <laughs> just step into here. It'll take you to your new home. Malzina, Linegron, and Garngol mantles needed to craft attack for deco. Yeah. Actually, make it hard at the very least. This is one of the more annoying walking segments. Because she just really takes her time. I mean, in the... I mean, look, I can only speak with any degree of certainty in the United States. And that is... The resources we have are over overwhelmed and even the people that are getting them are usually still not in a good place can't believe america let their housing market get so bad uh, i mean everything is an investment they found a way to invest in everything they found a way to invest in private student loans europeans must just tweak out when they see america they must must be like what are you guys doing <laughs> like why are you monetizing everything you don't need to monetize everything. No, we'll find it and we'll, we'll try and make a profit off of it. <laughs> Exotic animals? At least our, yeah, our, our entertainment culture is enjoyed around the world. How about that? How about that five dollars a gallon, guys? Anyone here paying five dollars a gallon? That's where we're at. I bet you some people are up to six. Woo! You're at six. Gotta watch an ad to get good inside your house or start your car. Pretty soon. Yeah, that'll be six dollars soon. Southern California, 640. Don't worry, guys. Even if gas goes up, we have a very robust public transportation system in this country that we could all use as an alternative to avoid high gasoline costs. Not... No car, no problem. It's just gonna like increase the price of everything though. Like it's just gonna keep like it's like a vicious cycle. 
I was on the highway yesterday where it was half paved and in the middle, below the raised pavement, they had painted a line. Why would you paint a line on something that's gonna get covered up in like a week? Who thought that was a good idea? Oh my God. Why not at least paint on the thing that's raised? What do you mean gotta spend that budget? There's plenty of work to do. They never finish Route 11. Spend your budget there. There's already... Yeah, I mean, all right, UK is 844 a gallon, but like you've got real public transportation. I know you do. You've got buses, you've got trains, you've probably got trolleys. Tell me you don't go on a trolley. Tell me you don't go on a trolley. I know you do. You also only need two gallons to get anywhere in the UK. Yep, UK is great. <laughs> okay. All right, listen here, asshole. I'm sure it's not perfect. Okay, I'm sure it's not a perfect place. <laughs> a trolley is what we call a shopping cart. I'll put you in a shopping cart. Do I ever do this? Can I upgrade my weapon yet? I kind of want more damage. You're literally in the middle of ousting your prime minister. I'm, ha I'm happy for you. People should just get rid of their, like, elected leaders periodically just to keep them on their toes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just be like, hey, asshole. By the way, you're out. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> you just elected me! Get the hell out of here! Get up! 924. 21. Huh. Maybe Dodagama would be better. Yeah, I know I need another slug bone. I mean, the blast would probably add up at least a little bit. Ore tree guy? Put my ore tree in you. What do you think about that? That's probably a bracky piece, right? It's going to need a lot more, um, a lot more something. Hey, when do, uh, when, when can I do, uh, guild palace? I want to get the guild palace weapon. When can I do that? Can I do that? Did we kill Fatalis yet? Yes. Build Palace MH Club. Can I really do it? 50 Shades of White. Hunt a Baryoth. Master Rank 7. I'm not Master Rank 7. Where's the event? I don't even see it. Maybe it won't show up until later. Is it only available during a... It's there? Am I high? Don't tell me I'm high. Oh, there it is. Why did it say it was limited? That's not limited. How good is it? I think it's pretty good. Well, we're gonna look at it. No, no, it's there. It's there. It's just the, the unsurprisingly, the Fextral Life Wiki had incorrect information. I know. I know it's a shock. <laughs> but uh, they made a mistake. Those weapons aren't that great. I think they are. 
I mean, they're not as good as, like, Fatalis and stuff like that, but I think they're going to be good enough. No, I think they are good. Let me... Well, hold on. Let me do a little bit more research. And... God, I can look at Kiraniko, but, like, it's almost as bad. No, they were, they were kind of a side grade when they came out to even endgame weapons. Like, they competed... Um, with stuff like Acidic Glavinous. So they, the upgraded form is 270 raw. The base form is 10, 250. I think I'm going to use it, though. What is ore? What is Fortisma? Two sixty. Two seven. It's also got base uh, affinity as well, which helps. So it's going to have more raw. a little. Yeah, I mean, it'd be an upgrade over what we have now. I like it when Fexer has 20,000 viewers and two people in chat. People are just shy. That's all that is. I'm gonna make it. Can't stop me. I don't know, like, what are we going to kill, um, what are we going to kill Fatalis with? I mean, we could use the Guild Palace Hunting Horn. I mean, it's not bad. There's definitely worse choices. Did somebody say SOS this weapon? That's like cheating. They own money and hide? Five dollars. I'm coming for my money. Kill Fatalis with the Latran weapons? I will likely not be farming uh, Fatalis. Or a yeah, Latrion. No, I think the Guild Palace weapon is going to be enough. Honestly. It's either that or maybe I, I puzzle out something else that I'd rather use, but I think I think they'll have the damage for what I need. I mean, we're not going to be guiding the guiding lands. Here's the plan. Beat Shara. Or even maybe even pre-Shara. We'll, we'll probably make our butt boy three-piece Master's Touch set from Teostra. Is it true I'll be streaming Sunbreak in Italy? I'll be streaming Sunbreak here, but then I may also stream some of it from Italy. I'm also stream some of it from Finland. That's my plan. Where'd you hear that? Are you not in the stream? Is there like a, is there like a, a shepherd appreciator's discord where you guys like discuss like, like chatter, like not in the normal discord? Kind of sus. You read it too late. Yeah, I might go. I mean, my internet here sucks, and so I'm gonna be getting fiber in the villa, so it might be kind of refreshing to be able to stream from a place with good food and high speed internet for a while. That's the idea. Something like 
posting villas? <laughs> no. <laughs> Somebody posted. <laughs> How am I today? Just talking about the villa, man. Oh, that was bad. I don't. That's not a good. That's not. A good, I, I'm gonna forget about my peasant viewers. I mean, I'll be streaming. I'm not just gonna be getting around getting blasted on cheap Italian wine. I mean, <laughs> when I'm done streaming, I mean, I very much absolutely may be doing that, but not on. can give us the most bougie view possible. I'll see what I'll see what I can do. Is Twitch allowed drunk streaming? Uh, you, it's got certain rules in terms of like drinking games and stuff like that you're not allowed to do. As in viewers that make this possible. Should I just lean into it as much as possible? Just like be like a tremendous asshole about it at every opportunity. Get like a little throne. Shame is for your fuel consumption. You better be cool. I don't want to sharpen. I want to sharpen. I gotta. Kind of like having a ghillie mantle around. Kind of helps things periodically. Start every stream by saying good morning, peasants, and then don't talk. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're, we're ending the. We're, we're, we're fully ending the adpocalypse tomorrow. I just needed one more day of data, just for for my reason, for reasons. Or have killed Energy Gante with a switch axe. What the hell sort of question is that? What the hell do you think you are? Got one more day of data there. I'm just trying to see what they're doing. Because like it's a it's like a Twitch thing. It's sussy. It's not a few thousand dollars. But it's more than I thought it should be, and so now I'm curious, so I want to run the data for one more day. It seems like it's probably worth doing. A scale from McChicken to a wasted highway budget, how much should I make? If it could be a consistent thing every month, it would actually make um, it would it would it would be nice. It's not enough money. Like, it's not enough on its own entirely, but it's helpful. But in Italy is going to be so good. I mean, I've been there a couple times. This will be like my third or fourth time to the villa. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna run the money maker during. It the beginning of Sunbreak. I'm not planning on it. I'm not planning on it. Did I not mount you yet? I'm trying to mount you. Wasted my. I already have to sharpen again?
I've been convinced in doing more after our podcast segments. I really enjoyed those. Uh, it's a it's a, a balancing act between average viewership for real sponsors and just running things to like literally fill fill your colon with ads. But I think Sunbreak will do cross promo DLC again. I hope so. I, I hope there's Capcom charity again. That would be nice. It was really nice when they did it last time. Watching the podcast with chat has been a lot of fun. I would just I would need to see long term what it did to average viewership if, it, if it's not that bad I could I could consider it but I can't like I can't like hemorrhage my entire channel analytics to do that you know oh I'm a hundred percent trying to make some moves to try and establish an Italian residency like I'm not joking I will I will not be ignored Does that, do I sound unhinged to you guys? Is it actual charity? It's charity for creators because I got like an extra one or 2,000 subs all the time actually? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Uh, I saw how long am I planning to stream for? Uh, probably at least another four hours. Possibly more. We'll see how the mood strikes us. What time would I be streaming in Italy? Uh, roughly the same time I usually stream. I'll probably start a little bit earlier. A little bit. I'm trying to get my, uh, my, my uncle to hang out with me for a while. My, uh, and on my, my wife's side. I want him to hang. I hate doing this, like, wall bang thing, but I'm just getting kind of tired of it. dropped a pod already. I think he's dropped two pods. That's oh. close though. I think four of these Baryoths for the weapon. I might actually end up SOS. <laughs> if, it's, if I had to kill this thing four times, I might actually do an SOS. I don't want to spend all day farming Baryoth. My dumpy ass four hunting horn. Morbina is. They it looked like they blocked me. 
Is it his stomach or like right in his nuts that's a weak spot? Something just triggered as a weak spot there. Yeah, I mean, ultimately we're gonna be going for the upgrade. It took, it said it needed like a uh, hero token. Which I'm assuming is like, we need like a, like a tempered bury off quest to do that. Got a large HP pool. It seems pretty hard, uh, high so far, yeah. Hero tokens aren't arena. It could be arena. It's been so long. Tempered Joe. Your sub ran out. Bad time for the sub to run out. Mid apocalypse. Running out of gasoline in the middle of the desert. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. There's usually like a little bit of a delay with Prime. Maybe the only month that wouldn't happen would be like February. Of your inability to cut tails. We cut tails. It just takes a lot of poke. Try to capture him twice, or at least once, and then have him dauntless check. We're free. Free from dauntless. minutes is a bit it's just kind of the way it is with hunting horn things are just a little bit slower with hunting horn i'm excited about monster hunter 5 plus one i'm excited for monster hunter sunbreak i really am very excited to see what they do with the game Chat isn't. It's so weird, man. I think people had just such like a negative experience to a certain degree with base Monster Hunter Rise that they have such low expectations for Sunbreak. I mean, it could be a good thing. I mean, saying that to get early access, I am not getting early access. Oh, it's true. Dauntless is still a 50 50 accurate. Sunbreak has an $80 million budget. It absolutely does not. I'm going to do it. Don't judge me. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. Okay.
You or ju judge me. I don't care. Go ahead and judge me. I'm doing it. They all love me. I mean, the hunting horn should help. I'll keep the songs up. I'll keep the songs going. Invite Frank the Tank. He's on, is he on like Xbox? You're on subbing? I understand actually. No, I think there's a lot of people. There's like 20,000 people probably playing World right now on Steam. Somebody have like the Steam like list? No, there, it's not that there's too much HP for solo. It's just like, I just don't. I, mean, I want to like fight this guy like three times in a row. <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't want to do it. And I, I'm sad. 90% cheaters? Most people cheat in this game, you think? 10,000 in-game? That's still a decent amount. I'm purposely sandbagging. We've only got like four days left in the challenge. I mean, to a certain degree, Jesus, like, I, I assume most speedruns done on PC have had somebody hacking or something in some way. That's not always the case, but it got, like, really met. There was, like, that one period in Monster Hunter World speedrunning where a bunch of speedrunners like, hey, we cheat, but we don't consider it cheating. And then people are like, well, could you consider not cheating? And then it got like really toxic really fast. Like there's a lot of really <laughs> horrible things said on Twitter. That was weird. That doesn't, does that happen in the uh, Souls community? I've never even thought about that. I'm assuming that's probably an issue in multiple communities. Kind of turbo cheating? Uh, I mean, they would do things like lock monster size, give them the uh, lock their position, um, fix their HP to the lowest possible. Those things. That's why the casual fan base cries about Claw and Clagger. A lot of them uh, cried about that, yeah. No, they didn't like it. Even though it's like, you know, from a casual perspective, like, it's really not that big of a deal. They're good at categorizing Souls runs to avoid controversies. I mean, how many people, like, straight up would, like, modify their game data, though, while doing a run, though? Like, I don't even know what you would do in Souls. Like, fix drop rates? You could probably do that, right? I'm assuming you could do that. Is the Black Knight Halberd or something? It's like a popular weapon to get. I think Gator just joined. I appreciate that. I just added 99 golden eggs in his rice can. <laughs> I mean, but I'm assuming if somebody did use that, they at least in their run would say that they did it, right? And it would be counted separately from runs that did not do that. Black Knight Halberd hasn't been good since Souls 1. I was talking about Souls 1 speed level. People don't play Monster or Dark Souls. I play Dark Souls. I play Demon Souls on a podcast. I guess I should probably replay the song, so. They did that for practice. I see. So they would never submit like a completed run with that. They would just practice with it. Well, that sounds fine. I don't. I don't necessarily hate that. How easy you can get into Dark Souls as a monster player? You will have power over run. You will be extremely powerful. 
you already have like all the positioning and spacing and everything that you need to be good at the video game. Dark Souls is baby game. Like, people keep asking me to play Elden Ring and stuff. I'm like, I played it and I beat it on stream, but, like, I never felt, like, particularly, like, majorly challenged. There was one, like, armored knight dude that kept gaping me. But he was just a normal enemy. I could just, like, walk away from him. Using mods is not cheating of the community among them among the competition takes place agrees they're fair game. But like, what if it's not, what if not everybody agrees? What if 50% people say it's okay and the other 50% say it isn't okay? What do you do then? What about the 50% of people that don't want to use any mods? What the hell? I've never, I've never seen that. Oh, did I just screw it up? That's my thing. Yeah, Blind Janitor and Gator are both definitely people among me. Don't use the mods. The thing is, is like they'll submit the run though as if it was used without mods. Like it'll be run in that category. Hunter World Pod. I just want to make Handler look extra thick. That's the only thing I care about. Nice to see a Lance. I like that. I'm like, people just doing like memes. What is this? I think that was an accident when they did like the dragoon dive. What was that? You have a separate category for non-modded runs. The thing is, not Notaru, is certain people are gonna think like I'm not actively like giving myself more attacks, so it's not. But then other people are going to be like, well, I didn't use any mods to get my run, so that is cheap. But they're both going to submit it under the same category, because one person just fundamentally doesn't think there's anything wrong. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, like I said, I'm just of the opinion that anything on PC is just like a, it's just an exhibition, and that's fine. It's fine for what it is. It's a shame that it's that way, because PC is almost always the better way to play the game, but... I just, like, I don't have any faith. I've got, like, almost no faith in the community at all to self-police itself. Because it's, like, there's just, like, such an extremely negative reaction when somebody's, like, hey, you're using something that is giving you an advantage and you're not disclosing it. Do I feel fulfilled after using SOS? It was great to see those people. Makes me happy, actually. Yeah, I do feel fulfilled. <laughs> now I can make my weapon. You know, there was a whole whole mess about what um, what sort of controller should be allowed on the Nintendo Switch, and that like if you're using a a controller that lets you to use like ran rapid inputs, whether that's cheating or not, and like we couldn't even agree on that. So like, there's no, there's just like no faith. There's <laughs> just like no, there's like there's no reconciliation. It's just like it's done, man. It's just over. Which is a shame, but it is what it is. Yeah, the the base version is going to be fine for a while. You've spent two minutes forgetting how to do extracts. They flip the buttons around, man.
what it layered insect layer was at, it was probably the behemoth one. The the one from Behemoth, Final Fantasy. Okay, that should not be auto modded. <laughs> Only you, Dorvin Man, would get hit with an auto mod for that. It's fitting. <laughs> now, hold on a second. I don't know that I agree with that, Twitch. You can't just, like, by default, ban the word gay. It's not necessarily, necessarily used in a negative way. You know what I mean? That's a little sus. I mean, it's Pride Month. I mean, people say, like, you know, I'm, you know, it's, it shouldn't, I don't know, whatever. I think it's assuming homophobia. What offense was that and what level? Uh, name calling, no. Name calling level three. name callers in chat. I know for a fact there's at least a couple name callers on to you. So I can get pure crystals anywhere? Maybe there's like a mining upsurge somewhere. I'll see, I've never gotten a, a pure crystal from anywhere other than this other area. I got one off a... Did I get one off a red node? I think I got my, my last one off a blue node. Oh! Oh, we probably can't downgrade this hunting horn now that I think about it. No, that sucks. Ice Caverns that a ray trace. You know, I've had a 2080 for like four or five years now, and I've like never played a game with ray tracing on. Is that sad? I think that's kind of sad. Is that a Final Fantasy XIV Kinsect? It's like the Dragoon Kinsect, yeah. It's not many games supported, and the games that do just like run like garbage with it on. You want a 2080 without paying a lot? Uh, 3000 series are going down in price. You can get a 3070 for probably like what, $400 now? 3070 is probably about as powerful as a 2080, I assume. Uh, does anyone know like the conversion? Four thousand series are supposed to come out this year, but I don't know. Twenty eighty TI is about ten percent stronger than a thirty seventy TI. Does that hold true for a twenty eighty to a thirty seventy? I get my Steam Deck yet? I think I'm gonna cancel my order. I'm getting a uh, oxymoron. I'm getting a gaming laptop. 
issue was is I was reading like the the Steam Deck apparently can't really do um, 1080p 60 in a lot of games, so I'm just not sure how how helpful it'll be. Send me your Steam Deck. I haven't gotten it yet. I don't have it. Level two, Radical Corvine, actually. If I could have gotten it, like, when it launched, I, I probably would have pretty happily had it. But uh, the way it is now, I just feel like it's going to be, like, forever for me to get it. What am I getting instead? I'm just getting a gaming laptop. I'm getting something. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a portable space heater. <laughs> Wildspire Waste has the highest drop chance from... Blue crystals. Pure crystals. All right. I'll try that out next. Let me see. Let me see if I can find a, a place to buy a 3070 thing. I'm getting a 12th gen i7 with a 3070. Oh, I see a 3070 here for $600. Oh, this is not a good link. Oh, Amazon has a good link. What are these audio heads? I don't know. You might, it might have been something I opened up. <laughs> Do you hear something? Uh, it's six hundred and forty-four dollars. Never mind. Resubscribe for three months. Welcome Bye. back, Learn Real. This one was like fairly affordable. It was like fourteen hundred dollars for a thirty seventy. 16 gigs of RAM and a 12th gen i7. And it's got a lot of ports. It's got a display port out. It's got an HDMI out. It's got Thunderbolt 4. So. If I'm going to be doing some traveling, it's, it should be fine for what I need it to do. I've got another laptop, but... I don't think it would really work very well. I've, I've used it before for streaming abroad, but it's not. Can you have my gaming laptop? I mean, when I'm done traveling, I might sell it, but I'll probably end up keeping it. It's going to make a lot of noise. It's going to be a very loud machine. It's going to blow a lot of hot air, but I'm hoping that because, like, Rise is such, like, a not difficult to run game that I'll be able to cap um, the, per the, the like the frame rate and stuff so it doesn't need to like run that hard and worst case scenario I could always get like an external GPU I mean I've got graphics cards so I can just plug an external GPU and that might take some of the heat off of the main main thing I mean I could just get a 10 foot long HDMI cable over Lordine. I mean I already have one so <laughs> you know what I mean Uh, throttle stop it's a it's like I couldn't find any reviews on it but I'm assuming most of the 12th gen um, assemblies for like Intel cards are all basically the same and they all seem to be about the same they all have the same heat pipe set up more or less some of them have liquid metal some of them don't so like I'm not too worried about it you know, if you all put them on manual fan control and max the settings, they're going to be loud. I'd, I'm, I'm expecting that. My, my hope is that I'll be able to run it in silent configuration and have it not be too bad. I think we got it. Nope. Nope. That's what they call it. It's like uh, liquid metal is just like a thermal compound, I think. Just get noise-canceling headphones. Do I look like I wear headphones? I'm going to cap the heat and I'm going to put it across my room. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Well, that didn't work out at all.
Come I know how to read? Uh, probably books, teachers. It seems like, I don't know. I mean, from what I've read, most of the modern, depending on the, the laptop, most of them are pretty good and have like silent mode. Put the noise canceling headphones on the mic. Yeah. I do remember the moment that I was able to figure out how to read without having a reading out loud. That was pretty sweet. I just don't need I don't just, I don't need to hear the sound effects in this game anymore, Joker Kun. I just don't I don't need it. Don't need it. Don't want it. So I'm fine. This might be faster. Can you stream using the laptop's built-in cam and mic? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. There's, like, there's easily $2,000 laptops out there that have, like, 720p, 30 FPS cameras that, like, stare up your nose uh, with a microphone that may as well be lodged firmly in your butthole. Oh, no. No. After Sunbreak, we'll do another Neo 2 playthrough all the way to the depths. Uh, maybe after the Dragon's Dogma playthrough, I'll pick up my other character and just try to get it all the way down. I could, I could see that. Is this one of those laptops? I didn't even check the specs to see if it had a, a webcam or a microphone. People used to make fun of in elementary school for your reading? What? That's not nice. I say that, and yet, like, I feel like I'm directly throwing shade on uh, Avoid the Puddle. And I'm not. I'm not. I respect the setup, okay? I respect it. What are we talking about? It was a, It was on Best Buy. It was a Aorus. It's like SE5 or something like that. I guess that 12th Gen i7, and I think it's got a 3070. It's either 3070 or 3070 Ti. Not that it matters. I mean, the the issue for most laptops now is not the components. It's like how much power gets delivered to the actual device itself, which is kind of amazing when you think of it. Like that's the limiting factor. That looks kind of thin to have decent cooling. I mean, the other one that was on sale was literally thin and light. <laughs> I like that Dwarven map. I like that. Oh, I like it a lot. No, I, I respect it. All right, uh, we've got slightly more damage now. Okay, I guess we fight Glaive Anus. Of traps. I think I'm out of traps. Am I getting an alienware or MSI? I'm getting neither. I have neither of those. I got one trap. It's good enough, I guess. And I think it's a gigabyte? Gigabyte Aorus? It's not expensive. I, I did not. I could have spent another six to seven hundred dollars easily. Um. 
if I wanted to. I mean, you could spend two thousand dollars, but for for what I use and I how how much I plan on using it, I think that's it's gonna be fine. Any farming for sunbreak that I'm doing? You know, I got like all all achievements in that game, right? Like I'm I'm good. I'm good. I don't I don't need anything. So bougie. It, it it's a little bougie. I'll, I'll admit it's a little bougie. Same song list and everything. Your mom might get a gift bag of silk accessories. That sounds nice. I mean, it's probably worth getting a baseline of stuff. Like, you may as well have like a little stockpile of like max potions and fish and like a little bit of money. You shouldn't show up to Sunbreak completely broke like in a speedrun state. But for the most part, like, it, there's no, outside of, like, having the decos made and maybe some, like, spare parts around, like, there's no reason going crazy. I like the little dragon heads on this thing. Sun break, sun bro. Max all trees and rampage weapons. I mean, I'll probably like try to have like a good stockpile of monster parts. My hunter looks like she got stung by bees. Agreed. Just hop on right away. Sometimes he taunts. Uh, maybe good. I didn't need to tenderize the head too. I, I don't think the head's actually very good in the zone. At least it could be better. Let's do this. I think this is a good fight. I do not really like a sitting class. Lavinus is a good fight. Oh, it's an attack on the way back. not taunt for very long at all.
shiver a lot. It's kind of a uh, you're kind of a butthole. Uh, should probably replay my songs. Getting walled. Not getting walled. What's wrong with Acidic Lavinous? I just don't really like them. I just think Lavinous is a more interesting moveset. That's all. What is Hellblade like? He's really not that different from normal Glavinus. Glavinus looks cooler. Just consistently a better player. Where's the uh, Diablos? Not coming. They got a turf war too. Pretty sure they have a turf war. Oh, I thought he was in a claw stagger there. the best. Uh, Monster just has good combat. sad about them removing the movie quest. I don't know that I would have done it, though. I think there was a good, like, vitality up piece? The only thing that I'm sad about, like, actually kind of sad about is it had, like, additional dialogue and stuff from, like, the Admiral. And, like, he's always just, like, really fun to have on the screen doing whatever he does. Why did they remove the movie quest? Uh, licensing thing? It's a... Obviously, it's the Monster Hunter movie, but at the same time, it was like a Sony property. Either Capcom didn't want to pay for the rights, or Sony did not want to pay them to get in the game. I mean, the only thing that I would really, really care about is the health boost. I mean, the hair plugs can sometimes be nice. I guess stun resistance is also sometimes nice. Oops. It had health regen and good luck bonus? I do not remember that. That's actually maybe the best part of it. I do not recall that at all.
I think I think Guild Palace will be enough for Fatalis. What do you think? I think I'm gonna have to get Raging Bracky. I don't think so. I mean, I was able to beat uh, Fatalis with like all high rank armor and a high rank weapon. Am I gonna upgrade it? I'm planning on it. I mean, I don't think <laughs> I don't think I'm just gonna use like early guild palace like Fatalis. I could, I guess. I think we'll get at least one upgrade out of it. After a few fails, I can make the Fatalis hunting horn anyways. That's a real glass is half uh, full sort of attitude that I like. Doing Fatalis? Because it's cool. I think it's cool. I don't know what you think. Let me ask you, what would you, what would you rather see? Would you rather see me get up to Fatalis with like cobbled together gear and, and beat it? Or would you rather me play Monster Hunter Rise up until the Or or all mother for that matter? I'm getting my ass kicked. I might die. <gasps> Heal me, you goblin! I'd rather see Rise Logstart gameplay. Got a real cultured individual. Why not both? We have four days left. You think I can do both? Maybe. I'd rather. I'm planning on doing a freedom playthrough. You know Alatrion? You have to fight Alatrion to fight Fatalis. Do to you again? We almost had to. Super Ed did the same thing. He was stuck on Fatalis for a long time. Really? Shouldn't be that bad. If you, as long as you have like heavy artillery, it should be okay. All things considered. <laughs> Why not do Char, do Rise, and do it super slow on Freedom to have fun? I would have fun doing this, though. I'm not declaring big peepee -pee or something. I'm just saying that, like, after being able to do it with um, high rank weapon, like, I'm... I'm pretty confident I could do it with any weapon, even just like gimp together like master rank sets. And maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, we'll find out. One of the god just put the other god just to sleep. And I love that. I love that for him. That was the paralysis one too, they put him to sleep. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna screw it up. No! So dumb. <laughs> These are the skills they're gonna take out. Fatalis, guys. Run your ass. What? I understand. Justified, actually. What is Automa not like about delete save? I can't see the, the reason why. Well, hold on. Say it again. I mean, it, it, it just allowed it. Must have been something else you said. No, I mean, we'll, we'll probably make three-piece TO. Three-piece TO will be really, really nice for the fire resist. I don't even know if I'm gonna bother making Raging Bracky stuff. I guess I could. I 
It must be aggression level four. Maybe it said if you fail, delete the save. I feel like Rise is fucking one more or Worlds? If I had to pick one, I guess I like Worlds a little bit better, but I really like Rise. I just don't think I'm gonna need it. I don't think I'm gonna need the damage. There might be a reasonable amount of Echo Notes in him. That might help. I remember Echo Note feeling very nice on Vitalis' chest. Explodes too. Don't we get like five carts on the first Fatalis clear as well? How many carts do you get? Five? Guys, I'm getting a call from Comcast. Maybe they're gonna offer me fiber optic internet. They just like farted into a microphone and then hung up on me. I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know if that was like a advanced like spam call sort of thing. I don't know what happened there. That was messed up. That's a little upsetting. <laughs> I was even like, good afternoon, hello. Like being nice. And they're like, no. Whatever. Like I'm not even like, I'm not even upset because like I'm just so used to being like bullied by Comcast at this point. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like so downtrodden. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, oh, all right. All right. That's to be, ex that's to be expected. No, that was seriously like a butt dial. Like, like, like they didn't mean to call me. Whatever. No, it's both. I definitely Pepe Flower on the outside and Pepe W on the inside. Like it's not. Like I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not bothered at all. I'm just like not surprised. It's fiber internet. Uh, it's a fiber optic. It is a type of cable that moves data like like at the speed of light with like light transmissions as its medium. Yeah, you, you pay up and you can get it. If you break a Glavidus part with the Clutch Claw attack, it does do damage. It's so, it's just like so upsetting. I keep my phone here for important phone calls and I got like Comcast like crank calling me. The hell, man! So there's some good glavinous like armor pieces. Mm. I think I'm gonna run out of honey eventually. They did Glav Greatsword so dirty in World. Was it strong in Generations? Hmm. Handy on legs. <laughs> Phrasing!
I would need one more Bursa. Maximum Might would really not be bad. Oh, well. None of that really looks all that helpful. This isn't try? Sorry. Maybe someday. I'll be a try streamer. Imagine being in Astera, not Celiana. I've been in Celiana for a while. <laughs> Glavinous. Going for that Glavinous Bussy. This is why Capcom does not give me early access to their video games. Should I kick the ass of a Basil? I probably should. To get the uh, Power Talon? That'd be really nice. Let me do that. I'm going to do that. I delete my own message. <laughs> you gotta live with it, man. That's... You can't take it back. <laughs> That's you now. What do you think the Monster Hunter is going to be after Monster Hunter Rise comes out? Don't you hate it how they auto-complete these quests for you? I hate that. Didn't I see a Basil? I've sworn I've seen him. Is actually genuinely annoying. <laughs> this sucks. Ugh. I've seen Basil before. Whatever, man. Do I gotta like hit him? Why do you why do you care about Dalamadur? Who the hell nobody cares about Dalamadur? <laughs> got him. Oh my god, I got so lucky. He, he goes here? <laughs> what? Why is he here? Dal is okay. For a large monster fight, it's okay. But man, Shaw Dalmadur is just like terrible. Oh. You kill Dalmadur 200 times? Yeah, I mean, you play MMOs. I mean, you're just like used to that sort of thing, I guess. What? 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 Why is, is there just like not an optional for Basil? Am I just like high? Fine. Have I killed one before? You don't normally have to kill it. You just gotta, like, look at it. You have to do the capture quest line? That might make sense. 
Okay. All right. Fair enough. If I capture it, I will likely get an arena quest. So we're just gonna we're just gonna beat him. Shows what I know. <laughs> just, don't, just do speed runs of this game. Is he still gonna be here? Him being here last time messed me up. Is the boost from the Talon worth going out of your way? Isn't it like nine true raw? Sometimes you can get a Talon by gathering at the scales. Sometimes that happens. Nine true raw is a lot of true raw. That's like three points of attack up. It's not going to take long. An island boy? What the hell does that even mean? What do you mean I'm an island boy? You're an island boy. What are you doing? You're going to have to give me a little bit more context than that. Like, what am I doing? Like, like in the video game, in real life, with my life? Where am I sitting? Yes? You gotta tell me which one of those things. That might be it right there. That was just hope you up to the extreme. Why am I so cool? I don't know that I am. Right now I'm just getting pounded by a basil in a corner. This is the turf war. Bombs do a surprisingly large amount of stun. I'm gonna fight Fatalis and Alatran as well. I am actually this time. That's the plan. What the hell? Oh, probably if I had my headphones on, I would realize. This. It's a bit of a mess. A bit of a mess. Fun combo for self improvement in real life. <laughs> Why am I attacking you? I'm sundowning so hard. Check this out though. Hold on. I might have dropped something. Damn it, she keeps giving me tears.
Ooh, he's angry. He's not gonna cry anymore. He's out for blood. The scales just feel so different. Like, so random in world. Compared to Rise, where they're like so precision. Worlds Basil. They feel organic in world, but they're a little bit harder to predict. This this whole hunt's a mess. I believe Comcast just called me, like Wayne called me. Problems with Elatrio? Elatrio's like one of the best monsters in the series. Feels too much like a video game? Oh. Uh, I guess in that regard, I can kind of get that. But I mean, it is a video game. But I, I do get, I do get what you're saying. Rise is definitely like that. Rise definitely has a lot of that feel to it. Better or worse. No, I don't I don't think the, the issue Dwarven Man's issue isn't like the believability of the monster that exists. It's that does it feel more organic than like something that is a little bit more defined in its telegraphing of its moveset. You know, in a way, the precision of the Elatron makes it such a good fight because while the moveset, if you didn't know anything about him, is fairly hard, once you learn it, he's actually fairly easy. Horny Gamble Manga. Is that the one on Netflix? I like that show. Rare birds, we are cursed. All right, well, hope here's hoping this is it. I'm, I'm going to say worth. I mean, it's noticeably more damage. You may not believe me, but it, it definitely is.
I should have the money to just buy the charms, right? Could be a spin-off. I like all gambling manga and anime. I'll slurp it up. No, I, I really, I really do understand what you're saying, Dorbin man. I really do, and to a certain degree, like I agree with it. But on the other hand, like, you know, once you've mastered a monster, you've mastered a monster. At that point, you know, you can do other things to try and beat it faster or move on to another monster. It's a good genre. I like it because when I read it, I feel smart. And then 10 minutes later, I'm like, wait, I'm still dumb. <laughs> but I'm like, while I read it, I'm like, yeah, I'm totally going to figure out what the gamble is. And every time I'm like, what? That was it? <laughs> no. I'm like, I know next time I'll figure out what they're doing. Why was I fighting Basil? I'll give you two guesses. The first first one doesn't count. The Kaiji, you haven't seen good gambling anime? There really isn't a lot. Um, Tomodachi game is coming out, and it's it's okay. It's okay. It's got some gambling in it. It's got it's it's a gambling like thing. Um, there are some okay arcs in Kaiji after where the anime stopped, but the anime really covers the the best part of that series yeah i got two talons i wouldn't have gone for the armor talon but i got it so it's really sad like you know after like whatever the first half of death note you're like wow that show should have ended that shouldn't that did not need another season um Kaiji's like that, except it's they're still making it. <laughs> it's still going on. Could also craft the Basil hunting or no, I'm not gonna do that. Or I'm I'm very happy with my guild palace weapon. Kaiji will stop and the sales stop. I mean everybody just keeps waiting for it to get better, it's like, no. Not getting better. I don't want to get into spoilers for all sorts of obvious reasons. It's just like so disappointing. Okay, I get it. That obviously not a cliff or a wall. You know, I never really thought about it that way, Carrot. I mean, the thing is, like, the author for Kaiji's got some pretty neat other series. He's got this one manga that's just about this, like, middle-aged man who, like, I don't, I don't even know what it's supposed to be about. He, like, gets in a fight and he wins. And he just, like, keeps fighting in really weird ways. It's definitely got some really good moments in it, but it's not really like a combat manga in like a typical sense, even though there is a good amount of fighting in it. respect that, actually. Welcome to the NHK guy. I like that. Respect it. How far are we from Alatrion? We'll probably be doing Alatrion tomorrow. I don't think we're hitting him today. It's unlikely. You know, the, the hope is that 
we'll be beating Shara today. And then tomorrow we'll have time to go through the, the quests that we need to go through. Highly recommend Kaiji. My only complaint about Kaiji, this is a this is a really weird I've got I've got I've got issues. It's on Crunchyroll, but the version they have on there is in 720p. And like I know there's 1080p versions of it out there for reasons. Why can't they upgrade it to 1080p? Is there any evade window on my armor? No. I don't think so. Should there be? I mean, I shouldn't have to, like, I don't know, go to nefarious means. <laughs> Ethically, I guess I'm probably clear. I know a lot of people out there just dislike the country roll for reasons anyway. So. I don't have any issues. Just the second one. The angle was a little weird on that one. Well, he went out of enrage really quickly. Find another rock. That's an attack. I never even knew that was like the tail actually did damage that. Hating Crunchyroll is always morally correct. Uh, so I subscribed to High Dive because I wanted to watch your boy Kong Ming. And I'm slowly finding out that apparently they have a large collection of uncensored movie anime. <laughs> I think, and I have not checked, because like I don't, there's no reason for me to search for it. They have Redo of Healer on there. And I don't, I, I really don't know how to feel about that. I have not checked. I have not checked them. High dive? Why, why do you... Okay, so you, you, you think you like high dive because they actually give Blu-ray rips of the television? How do I destroy your lost dark addiction for Monster and Arise? If you're having fun, there's nothing wrong with that, bud. I just really, really liked uh, what I saw of your boy Kong Ming, and I wanted to support um, the website for having it. That's a very charming series. Two really, two really good series this this season. I'm sure there's more, but Spy X. Uh, family and your boy Kong Ming are both just like really like I look forward to watching them. They're so nice. Is there anything else that good on this season that I'm just like not aware of? Or are those pretty much the best ones? Want to support Kong Ming by the Blu-ray or other official merch? I'm not like a merch guy though. I'm not, I'm not, not, not like having like physical stuff. Didn't you like Shield Hero? Brother. I turned on the first episode of Shield Hero. I really did. I was ready to watch it. And I kid you not, I think it was before literally the first commercial break. You know how like there's like a commercial break halfway through where they're like, you know, they, they show the title or whatever. Literally before the commercial break, the new girl or whatever that had joined their party is like I want to be your slave and then she like pulled her shirt down 
and I just turned it off. I just turned it off, and I haven't even thought about watching it again since. So. Oh god. She got stat boosts from it, yeah. I mean, I really enjoyed the first couple episodes of Shield Hero when it came out. I'm like, here's a guy, can't fight for himself, needs to rely on other people to fight for him, uses a shield. He's learning like, uh, he's doing like, you know, some like mercantile stuff. He's like learning like potion crafting. Yeah, I like all that. That all seems interesting. There's a lot of, a lot of interesting premises here. Um, and it's like, you know, now I've got a, like a <laughs> visually, uh, eight year old child with me. Who then, don't worry, looks 14 or so eventually. And it's like, all right, I can, I can live with that. I can live with that. And then he gets like a newborn baby bird girl, <laughs> also in his team. And I'm like, I don't like this. I don't like it, but I'm gonna tolerate it. Cause maybe it gets better. And then even at the point where like newborn baby bird girl is like, we got a mate. I want to have your bird babies. And I'm like, I'm actively vomiting in my mouth. I'm like, all right, maybe it's just a phase. Maybe everyone will just grow by 10 years. I should have stopped. I should have stopped. He has another person in his team, like another like 10 year old girl. Just, it just never stops. And then I'm like, whatever. I'm like, I'm just going to finish the season. And I get to the start of season two, and like it immediately starts more garbage. I'm like, I'm just done. I'm done. Because now we're at that point, we've discussed it on the stream or whatever. Just Isekai's all power fantasy plus fetish. That's all it is. That's all it is now. It, it's all gonna be a power fantasy. It's not gonna have a very interesting premise ever. Always gonna be super, some super powerful self insert character. And then plus a fetish. Whatever that is. Whatever that is for whoever the author was. That's why I like these guys. It's okay. If you like it, like, I'm happy for you. I'm really happy for you. The only one that weirdly wasn't like that was, um... Spider-Girl? Isekai? I guess? I don't remember there being anything uniquely specialized in that one. Spider Girl get a human body? Spoilers! I timed somebody out over that when it was still being broadcast and they got really mad at me for me timing them out for that, even though it was like absolutely deserved. This is fun. I, I can just never get into watching it. Like I feel like you, you got to get into that rhythm. Actually watching it. Are you running? Are you not ready for capture yet? Just die already. I turn it on and like they weren't immediate. Like I stopped probably in the middle of some filler arc. And the episode I'm in, it's like, we need to go get a thing. And, like, I don't, I just, I can't care. I just don't care about the thing that they need to get in One Piece. It's like something they need to get. And I don't care. Okay. 
If you're a fan, why is a lot of episodes a bad thing? <laughs> it's a great question. That is a amazing question. And maybe it's not a bad thing. Are you a buffet sort of guy? Are you like a hometown buffet sort of guy? Watched a thousand episodes of One Piece and never want to watch any episode again. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna capture this guy, guys. That's what we're gonna do. Just gonna get this over with. Is vomit good for you if you're sick? You need to vomit, I guess. It's kind of gross. Best way to do One Piece is read the manga? Maybe. I like manga. Maybe I'll find out where I am in the anime and I'll just pick up in the um, manga at some point. Is there, um, like an official online translation of One Piece that you could read from? Like a subscription service? Probably like Shonen Jump or something has it, right? I'm pretty sure they've got an app. Viz Media? Right. I'll look it up. Yeah, I mean, I could I could throw $2 a month. I bet it's got other good stuff, too, huh? Oh, it's got Demon Slayer, too. That was okay. Wow, that is a... <laughs> that girl has enormous breasts. <laughs> Holy crap. What is going on in this manga? What the hell? <laughs> you! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> just like, just don't just get like assaulted by this. <laughs> Damn! Hometown of the Dead? I guess? That's, that's big, that's big without being, like, comical. Anything beyond that is just, like, like, get, get help. So they got one piece. What else do they have? You hate anime? I hate anime so much. What's Dan? What's Dan to Dan about? Sakamoto Days looks like an old guy with a gun. That looks amazing. Is that good? You have a hentai room? I know I hate it. Dan to Dan is good. It's right up there at the top. Yeah, I'll, I might get it. Might get that. Two two dollars a month is nothing. I'll I'll give him two dollars a month for, for manga. Well, I guess we don't need you anymore, right? Have you seen or read Doro Hidoro? I don't want to upset you, but I started to watch it and I was like, eh. 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 Hulu is a solid anime selection. I need to cancel Netflix and get like the big boy subscription for Hulu because like I can't watch ads. I know that's very ironic as I am waterboarding you with ads, but I can't watch them. They're for you, they're not for me. <laughs> so <laughs> Don't tell the people currently getting waterboarded I said that, okay? That's my secret between me and you, the real subscribers. Mm. 
<laughs> can they hear me? Oh, did they get back here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're an animal? That's name calling level four. Literally had three ads back to back. It's just a test. We're going to turn it off tomorrow. We're turning it off tomorrow. I just, I need one more day for data. That's all I need. And we'll be back. We'll be free, okay? Thanks for, thanks for riding it out. <laughs> Seven ads and three of them were the same. One. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Streamer, please. I don't want you. Streamer, I, I promise I'll sub tomorrow. I'm going to come. No, no more ads. I don't want to see the tape. Please don't eat the tape. My apologies. <laughs> I apologize for your suffering. <laughs> that sounds that sounds awful. <laughs> that sounds like grotesque. <laughs> How are you still watching? <laughs> Over ads, thank you for the prize. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. <laughs> this is like, that's just like violent. That's like Twitch just chose violence. Sorry this this stream has done this to you. <laughs> I literally cannot run ads. I can't run ads. I can't. They're they're permanently running. Like the the run ad button, I'll check let me check. Let's see if I can run it. Hoy am Bean, hello. Good afternoon. Oh I can run ads. Oh no 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 no. It just went away. Yeah, I can't run ads. Oh no I can! I can run in two minute and thirty. Well, if somebody redeems it, I can run it again. <laughs> <laughs> Stream, please, please, I've got to fit. All right, here we go again. No, streamer, don't do it. Racky's my favorite monster. <laughs> I just, that's the worst I've heard so far. That's the worst. And I've heard a lot of things in the last couple days. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. All right, we'll get him next time. All the boost ones? I don't buy alcohol. I buy Coca-Cola Zero to drink as a treat. I only drink uh, when I'm at my home. But maybe pretty soon I'll be drinking some pleb tears. I gotta I gotta wall bang him because then I gotta I gotta like tenderize that head. You drink I'll I, I will in the villa, yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the last one. 
you know, like a bottle of wine for two euro. Like, why wouldn't you? What is your favorite monster in a game? Hmm. World's way up there. Do I remember fighting Brack? No. I kind of remember using like a hammer on him with the night group. Uh, world's great. Uh, the only one I don't really like is GU. I don't think even then it's not like a, a like a major like feature. It's just like I'd rather play another one. I do a moment of silence for Cheech. <laughs> Apparently the old man got some new goats. I found out some deep disturbing lore. You guys want to hear a uh, very hard truth? I don't know that you want to hear it but I can tell it to you. So the old man had Chicho. Chicho Pinata. But apparently Chicho was not the only one. Chicho had a brother. I'm not, I'm not laughing. Chicho had a brother at one point. And his brother was eaten. The old man ate Chicho's brother. <laughs> Chochi? I don't know what his name was. I can try and ask him when I get, but get over there. Why didn't I save him? He was gone before I was there. That's normal? I always thought, it seemed to me like Chicho Pinata was being kept as a pet. I did not kill Chicho, I kissed him. I kissed him on the little goat mouth. I did it and I can't deny it that I did it because I did it. He's not a goat farmer. He has like wood, he like makes charcoal. He used to make charcoal. Is this the Clutch Claw run? Uh, I'm gonna use it. I need like a rock. There's no rocks up here. You kissed a goat on the mouth? I did. Did I kiss him just to eat him later? No, he was, he was um, allegedly taken out by a pack of dogs. Can I speak Italian? Not really. No. It would have been funny if the Dauntless Dance was a story about Chicho. They might still be here. A couple of them hanging out. Never know. I don't know. I've been to a lot of countries, and I've never really found that you need to know too much about the language to get by. I mean, as long as you're not, like, dumb, you just figure out what people want. I've never had any issue. You just point at a thing. There's, like, Google Translate now, too. That makes it even easier. Did I like the kiss? I was very drunk. I had stolen, we were out late at night. The old man had like gotten this like really big batch of wine he made. And it was my goal to try and drink all of his wine. That's what I was doing. So I was very drunk. And then he was like crying. He was like really upset about all of his wine I was drinking. And they're like, I'm gonna drink your wine and now I'm gonna kiss your goat. And I got into the little goat pen with Chicho and I kissed him on the mouth. 
And then the next day, he was out playing with, like, the neighbor's dogs because he was raised to think he was a dog. And the dogs... I mean, the dogs did not see him as a dog. The dogs saw him for what he was, which was a goat. And so the dogs started biting Chicho, and then Chicho bled, and then they had to they had to put Chicho down because he was, he was gonna die. But um, afterwards, from that point forward, the old man would call. Me, he looked at me. He would call me Judas. He said, "You kissed Chicho. You betrayed him, and then he died the next day." That's pretty messed up. And like, I asked my mother-in-law, I'm like, hey, has he forgiven me about that whole, like, kissing his goat sort of thing one night? And she's like, oh yeah, no, it's fine, no. She's like, no, it doesn't bother him at all, no. He doesn't even remember. This past Christmas, like, they, they pull up like a video call he looks at me within one second after seeing me. He goes, Chicho Pinata. <laughs> he hasn't forgotten for a moment what I did. Not for a second has he forgotten. He calls me Chicho now. He calls me Judas or he calls me Chicho. <laughs> I know. I've done some bad things in my life. I wouldn't either. Absolutely, I would. I'll replace his go. Apparently, he's got like. Apparently, he's got some sheep now. What kind of shepherd kisses goats. Trying to increase his morale. It's good to be humiliated. <laughs> Come back, married. Get my get my Italian citizenship by marrying a sheep. <laughs> oh God. He might. They might. I think he's planning on serving goat. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna cook us one of the goats. Seriously. animals in Japan, I'm sure you cannot get citizenship through that. <laughs> Sometimes as your Rathalos shows up and they, they tussle a little bit. I'm not, I, I don't have any reason to approve that message, Jenna. so I'm not going to. That's not, that's not necessarily the thing that I want to spam the chat. One grovel recently, Garrett. Only one. Oh, 
nothing as you're showing up. Oh, never mind. Azure's right there. They should fight. You sound bombed about the lack of problem work. Are some people like really looking forward to the list? Some people looking forward to like the the meltdowns. You have to remember, I never really got to see the meltdowns because like I was on the other side of it. So I can't I can't really comprehend what what it was like because I never really saw it. I did have one person like I did have a lot of people DMing me some pretty crazy stuff. One guy was like, I got listed and I didn't think it would bother me that I was listed. And then it did bother me. <laughs> and then somebody else was like, hey, you don't have to take me off the list, but you just tell me that you took me off the list. And I said, lol, sure. And they're like, I want you to make it believable. <laughs> You didn't make it believable enough, streamer! I wanted you to lie to me! <laughs> I remember that one, that one's, that one stays in there. You can get off the list, it's like a 500,000 point redeem, I think. Kind of a crazy, that's like a crazy thing. It's crazy. The, the guy that freaked out on Amatsu was a little bit different though. He was like getting like, he was like going from channel to channel listing people. Can I put people on the list with a redeem? No. It would be too much fun. Oh god damn it. I mean, to be fair, he, he may be spoiled stories too, but I remember like Eric's put out a video like literally day one that had like a full roster of like all the deviants. Thanks, Eric's. Glad you got the early access, but I don't got beef with Eric's, but maybe don't. Maybe there's no reason to do that. Hey, we got a pallium. What is what is this? Is this your favorite one? What are my headphones? You don't think you could ride Apex Monsters? I don't think you can get off the list. <laughs> ah, that's right. I gotta keep my headphones on for all these good comments. I like them. YouTube needs something like again, wholesome group of friends enjoying a game. Yeah, I don't know if there's enough of that on the internet. You should check out the Ninja Sword and Shield when I can. I'll check you out on the list. I don't have time to check it out. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ah, oh, it's so good. I do look forward to that again.
So Tiger should be pretty easy. Uh, we've got Stone Thrower. And that's nice. Hold on. I, I need to leave this area. I don't know what's going on with this music, but it's very annoying. I'm really looking forward to when the videos would drop. We were really consistent for a long time. We put out a lot of content. Oh. Uh, actually, that mana sponsorship I can technically take down Xenomorph. They sponsored me... I think the sponsorship ended either mid-April or mid-May. Something like that. There, there are other sponsorships for it. I just haven't taken any of them yet. I probably could. I haven't bothered. Cutoff graphic they provided was a bit janky. That's what they gave me. I think he actually gets into a turf war with Odo. I think he might. Oh god, why are they up here? <laughs> what the hell? Did they climb up there? <laughs> what is going on? This Radabon should have just, like, gone the other way. I have no idea what Arkham game is. I'm gonna do a wall bang and then I want to tenderize the head. Oh, Batman arm. Even enraged yet. I guess I could get him again if I really wanted. I think what's new about this Tigrex is you can use either arm to throw rocks at you. I think is a little different.
some Hornetars tweaking out in the corner over there. I've never really learned Tigrex in World and Iceborne. I've always just like really brute forced him. He definitely has a lot less openings. No learning him, you face take or stud lock him? I don't know if I agree with that. That range is farther than it used to be. He should chase me here, right? I also think they have a turf war, right? Yeah. This is pre-recorded nightmare. Parting a twitch, please do. He's got to be so close. Best newbie weapon for world? Switch axe? I generally recommend people start off with a hammer. It's just like a very intuitive weapon. Dual blades are pretty pretty easy as well. I wouldn't, I would, do not agree with Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield's got some pretty advanced tech going on. Oh, look who's back. You just learn a lot about the game by playing Hammer. Light bow gun? Maybe just don't use ranged weapons. Never.
Consort, you say that as if like Light Blowgun and Lance are exactly the same. I don't say that Lance is boring, not for me. People, the perception is that Lance is boring. Yeah, I mean, in the older games, the golf swing was actually really powerful. It's really good. This is my favorite versions of Hammer. Oh, this is amazing. If he's going to go back this way, that's great. With the gauges? Or not? He's going to keep running that way. As a Lance man, you feel offended by that statement? You should be offended. They say longsword is the beginner weapon. <laughs> so funny. I don't think I've ever seen him like sniff around like that when he's like enraged. Is that kind of like a taunt that happens with his like flashed patterns? I was almost able to go for a ride there. Stalagmites here don't really do much damage. They do like reduced damage. I don't know why. generally offended by being called a longsword user. It's like, who the hell do you think you are? You don't know me. <laughs> longsword content creator. I did not ask for this. If Zeus got through Barry off, I mean, that's probably better than some people. Oh, 
I've used long swords before. I don't want to be associated as like the long sword guy. Off to the bone nest. I think he's gonna stick around the, the nets for a little bit, right? farther of a range than it is in the old games confuses me. Oh god. You liked the podcast episode where I referred to longsword users as subhuman? When I left yesterday, apparently I was on a podcast where I was predicting the future. always write about this sort of thing. That's stupid. Winning with a clutch claw kill is stupid. I was traumatized. I was trying to play Monster Hunter Try with like three longsword users when I was using Lance. I was making terrifying dire goblin noises. Have I been making di goblin noises like this entire time? It's just like nobody's ever told me. Plenty of armor stones. Right in the face. Nere. Eriku. Eso. You got light bow gun? That arguably might be worse than long sword. <laughs> Arguably, I'd rather have long sword than light bow gun. Why? Just the sticky and the slicing. They kept long sword over everything else. That's a good question. Gunlance is a very good pick. I would rank that top three. Maybe, maybe the top one. Roy, Roy, 
Got magnet spike hacker. In reality, you main longsword. I knew it. You always play elemental light bow gun builds. I'll give you credit for that one. That that actually flips your polarity. It goes elemental light bow gun, normal light bow gun, pierce light bow gun, spread light bow gun. Slicing light bow gun, and then like stickies like all the way like in the dirt. Do I own the cute demon outfit for the handler? I never bought it. I bought. I bought some. I bought more on the PlayStation than on Steam. Is my volume lower today? Is that better? Uh, everything should be about the same. It was like one sixteenth of a, a gain adjustment, but I mean, I guess it's enough. Lot, just mad that sticky good. Mad because bad. Mad because you don't have sticky yourself. Sure. Guys, I increased my mic volume. I did not increase the volume of the redeems. I was actually looking back. We used to go back and forth between, between calling them dual blades and dual swords. When did it switch? Why do we call them dual swords? Were they dual swords in some games and dual blades in other games? I feel like it's some sort of like... I don't know. Mandela effect thing. Three, you started the dual blades. Before that, it was dual swords. Weird. When did you stop calling, saying Naruga Kuga? I don't know. Towards the uh, unlocalized way of saying it. Nowadays, they call it, still call it dual swords in Japan. That looks like a hit. Are you not enraged yet? Oh my god, I'm on the tail.
Did we get an extension of Apocalypse because of the early access? I'm testing something. I'm literally just testing something based on what I'm seeing in my Twitch ad page. It's it's going away tomorrow for sure. I no, I'm not I'm not squeezing you guys. It's no, it's going away tomorrow. Is Jessica gonna keep getting away with it? Favorite flagship monsters? No Gigante. Belkana's good. Azure Rathalos and Bracky suck. Rathalos sucks. Nargakuga's cool in Freedom Unite. I guess For You is like kind of both Gore and Sregios, right? They're both cool. Cutest flagship? That'd have to be Darga. Bracky sucks. I don't love him. Zenogre's great. Good fight and cute. Hey, it's up time. Up dog? Valstrix? Eh. He gets a solid eh. Better than Bracky. Amogus? I just, I don't like Bracky. I don't like getting slime all over me. I mean, Gore is amazing. I just, you know, I'm just like, I, I'm, I'm in the middle with Seregios. You like blast elemental weapons? You get blast from all sorts of places. Dodogama, Teostra, Crimson Fatalis, Rampage. I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen any footage of the Seregios yet. I'm going in as blind as I can. I'm a, personally boycotting the other creator footage because I did not get any. Basil. Oh, Molten Tigrix has it too, doesn't he? Magnum Molo. No! My toilet paper! <laughs> I've never really had too much of an issue with Molten. He doesn't have a lot of life. like I, I hate this part of the game because it's like they make her look so incompetent I know it gives the handler a chance to save her but still it's a stupid screenshot she should have died there oh my god I mean it would have maybe added a little bit of impact to the game no 
But they shouldn't cost you any more than like 30 or 40 dollars, Solo Bootsy, and it's worth it. Kindly finds your corpse and gets hungry. That's messed up. Uh, let's check our equipment. I think we got like. Screeching Legiana, I think, is next. Eh. Eh? Eh? Stamina Thief might legitimately be good on things that can get exhausted, which is not a lot of things, but... Honestly, though, should probably hold on to the pallium. Maybe I will make a raging bracky thing. Spike of DS Essence, isn't it like Agitator Expert? Make full Nami for fashion. I'm trying to think how bad the fire resistance on that would be versus Fatalis. I could see Namiel coming back. Oh, she's not gonna. I can't eat. Comment, I hope X Monster comes back used to get you listed. Maybe I've gotten soft in a year. Somebody in chat, a couple, uh, a couple weeks ago was saying that there was going to be some major leaks. And I guess what it was, was Rage Gaming must have gotten to Capcom to play with the game and started leaking it. <laughs> That's so funny. We don't want any leaks, which is why we're bringing trusted non-leaker Rage Gaming to the office to get an early view of the game. <sighs> you mad? I'm a, I'm a little mad. I'm a li little mad. You want following him today? I mean, if you want spoilers, you just stay followed. Rage gaping on stream? Not that mad. I heard a, a conspiracy that people thought the um, Street Fighter stuff was done deliberately, though. Morale. 
Is there any... Any... I don't know, anything behind that? He's calling, uh, she's calling Sumi Tiny Feet. Yeah, I mean, I thought SNK was whatever, doing like a character a week and getting new content like that. I like how the toilet paper that she lost, the handler finds so easily. Join her in hell! Better, better handler than old handler. That's what it's supposed to be. I never noticed. There's a lot of Legion up in the air. Understood what? Oh, can you actually see a bunch like in the air? You like when they shriek for each other? The noise kind of freaks me out, man. Eh. Is my G Fuel sponsorship? I don't usually do like just affiliate sales. They want to pay me. All right, hold on. I'm not gonna. Do, I'll, I'll. I'll do. I'll do less. For I'm glad that is name calling level four. I don't know when the thrust mod spot. I don't know. Have I been blacklisted? <laughs> I think I've done an okay job with my sponsorships. They definitely released a new Thrustmaster. I would like to have it. I'd like to try it. Maybe it's all these name callers in my chat. <laughs> Get me blacklisted from Thrustmaster. You have to be nice to the monsters? Yes.
You say it was worse? He said he was warming up to it. I mean, it's a cheaper controller. So, it might be like a little bit worse. One of six with circle of helices. just messes it up. Most people usually only get one ad. Very few people actually get three minutes of ads. No, subscribers should not get ads. want the ads? Some people say they want the ads. It's sick. Shaming level two, excuse me? Hate the idea of turbo? I don't know, I have it. I don't I don't hate that it exists. I mean, obviously, if you got creators you like, still subscribe to them, but it lets you explore a lot of different channels without getting waterboarded. I mean, I wouldn't blame somebody if they wanted to get Turbo over getting a subscription here. If they had, like, a lot of streamers they watched, like, I get it. It is true, yeah. Streamers that run ads might actually make more money by having everybody run... <laughs> Twitch Turbo than anything else. Give a sub to one guy you've been watching for three years? That's good of you. hasn't gotten exhausted yet. Ooh. 
Oops. Oh no. Fight a Rajang in this run? You do not. You have to look at a Rajang. You do not have to fight it. I don't actually, I don't even know if you have to fight it. Or look at it. You do have to beat Shatterhorn, though. gonna fight the Rajang. I only really care about fighting the Fatalis. I'm gonna be real with you right now. look kind of weird. Well, that is bad on Fatalis. Only if doubters go all in. It would be a 100,000 bet minimum on downing. Want to doubt? Better save up. Go all in with the 26,000 points. You have 100,000 points? That's a lot of points. <laughs> Pain this ledger is taking him. He's screaming, die already. Let me die. You've earned 34,000 points in the ad stream since Thursday? That's a lot of points. Legion is up there, huh? That's neat. This one just like hanging around. Didn't she lose her headgear? I'm coming down to teabagger. I want your meth. Give me your meth. You're proud of me? Thank you. No, oh, I guess that's her headgear. All right, never mind. She never wears that mask, does she? She's got like a little visor. You almost never made. Does she wear it in like one scene? Hmm. 
The first. She's got like goggles in the first one. This is her winter outfit. I was a different mask with Odo. Almost positive is a different mask. Getting a lot of lot of anger over the handler here. Hey, we got a mantle. I don't think we're going to do anything with that either. Oh. I never realized it. I guess that's supposed to be a variant and not a subspecies. I always thought it was a uh, subspecies. Now I feel dumb. Can we get a vote on this? I am not I am not enabling this. Handler definitely got a bit of a rework from 1.0 for sure. Even from the demo, I think she had a rework. Ebony is also considered a variant. I mean, a variant... Well, a deviant is a monster that's survived. Variant. Uh, <laughs> rare species? Subspecies. I'm too much of a sundowner to really get. That's a weird voice. Variant is regular monster, but more pissed. That works for me. It's my f absolute favorite hunt in the game. I love him so much. Oh, he's so good. Subspecies I get. Subspecies I can figure out. But like, what what about Blue Kutku? <laughs> he's like, he's just a different colored Kutku and yet he's, he's a subspecies. You get it? Feel me? I don't get it. He's blue. I know he's blue. It's in his name, Blue Kutku. I didn't think he was like green. Sorry to the colorblind people out there. It took until 3U for the subspecies to really matter. They got a couple okay ones in Freedom Unite. Potential Dragon's Dogma? Dragon's Dogma and Neo 2, maybe. Maybe we'll have one week of variety. Maybe. Some of the people are begging for it. I have to clean up my Dragon's Dogma install. I also have to clean up my Rise install. Plum Daimyo? He moves a little different. But he's, you know, he's like the Freedom Unite era. 
anything but rice. Guys, we're going to have to play some rise before sunbreak. Would you rather me play, like, Bloons TD6 or Rise? I know some of you would absolutely take the monkey. Difference between a Labrador and Golden Retriever is the length of the fur? Are you kidding me? The, here's the weird thing. People don't like Rise around here, but I like Rise. How is that possible? We can think for ourselves, streamer. We don't need you thinking for us. You know, I'm glad. I'm happy about that, actually. I have issues. <laughs> I love the way this thing sounds. They baby mode the hunting horn. Like in this game or? What game are we talking about? It's boring to watch because I never cart. Well, sorry. <laughs> sorry I don't cart enough. I don't cart. I, I almost never cart in world. Does that make it any different? One of those top-down noob games. <laughs> what's, what's a top-down noob game? Oh, we're 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 definitely only gonna play Rise until. Your ship wasn't the same. Twenty people all molding Rise. There's only a couple people that don't like it. That noob is a bowling ward. I accidentally enabled it. Play Stone Soup so we can reset the average chat. <laughs> Rebrand as a Stone Soup streamer. I kind of like that idea. He's just hauling ass everywhere. You know, wall bangs and iron almost never work. Is there any good starts for fighting the Apex variants? What game are we talking about? Rise? I mean, the only one that's, like, really complicated at all is Apex and Ogre. He only does two charge, like, supercharged slams in a row, usually. So play around that. You get tail with Hunting Horn? Yep, I've got some videos with me cutting tails with Hunting Horns. Asmin, he's playing... God, what the hell is that game? I should know this. Oh god, I'm sundowning so badly. I'll know it if you say it. No. Lost Ark. That's new. Is that all noob games? Still gotta like click the buttons. Freedom Unite Hub doable solo? Yeah. It might be a really big pain in the ass if you wanna farm any of the fatalities, but outside of that, do the whole thing solo. I'm 
How many gifted subs for every 3,000 failed quests? How much can you afford? Shot quest could happen. It's challenging up way closer than you thought it would. I'm still pushing through. I still got two other games I want to do and Fatalis. One of those people who've suffered through these ad apocalypse the last couple days to feel like it was worth it. <laughs> Streamer, please! Rise and Freedom will be one day. I should be able to get through them both in one day, yeah. If I'm really focused and I use Sword and Shield and Freedom, I could probably do, bang it on day 30. Why is it going to be like three hours at most? No, go away. Go away. Stop it. I like how the Tigrix is going for his ass. They have a turf war or no? Please reach. God damn it. I have my ways. Why aren't you? Why aren't you going? I'm so lucky at video games.
Uh, the only piece I'd really want to go out of my way for is, like, maybe the helm. I'm not gonna go for, like, his full set. Usually, like, some when I play this game off stream, I look for SOSs for Fulger. He's my favorite thing to do. Here, let's do this. Shockwave's not critting or dealing elemental damage sucks big time, yeah. <laughs> Behold his eye! <laughs> Knock it off, Tigrix keeps showing up. bad and it's getting worse. <laughs> they do have a turf war. Oh, they'll do it again. Was it after 10 minutes? They do it again. the skills that just are just given to us for free now. It's so crazy. I think Fulger's a 50-50. Even if he won, though, he's going to want to run away to sleep. You need anything for the helmet, like a pallium or whatever, just like normal pieces. The helmet would be a pretty big damage upgrade. Five or six. I mean, we've got auto tracker. We've got perception. We've got speed setup. We've got like Dude. ultimate god divine whim for pickaxes and and bug nets, right? Speed gathering. World felt like free evasion plus one. Close to it. But for some reason it was weakness exploit two. It wasn't. So 
still have Master Gatherer for Speed Gatherer. That's true, you could have extra Speed Gatherer. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care. There's one thing we lose with all the free skills. What is it, Joker-kun? Gun Lance and Lance, you should. <laughs> Very funny. I'll do the boring one first, I guess. Sailing is everything a stair should be. I mean, a stair makes sense from like a story perspective of we landed our boats and we used our boats to make a town. From like a, a layout, from like a player's perspective, yeah, I mean. Celiana eats a stair as lunch. SOS. Gross. Volker Anjanoth really does feel like um, you're meant to just wall bang him into oblivion. Yeah, if you pay five bucks, I'll, I'll give you one bonus on top of what you already owe me. I'll give you a, uh, I'll give you an SOS. Yo, 22. Where's my money, Lebowski? I mean, he is getting waterboarded. At a certain amount of ad views, I guess he probably would have paid for himself. You know, you got to respect the great Jiros for going in. No armor for Fatalis. You could redeem it. It doesn't mean I'm going to follow it. That hits, even on the face. 
That's really annoying. Please! I'm dead. I almost survived, though. Do you like my copium max potion of having to play health boost large? Do you like acidic weapons for being the best weapons to use non-elemental boost on? If you're in a group, you can use, like, Diablo stuff and get, like, affinity up and be even better. No fortify? I don't have any fortify decos. Kind of a really sad monster to, like, Hard on. I think it's big number with an A. Oh, uh, with. Yeah, that was really cool when we did that. That was a fun test. I think it actually straight up depends on the weapon class ZMTL. Maybe with like greatsword. What was what was the Cidic Lab? It's 290 raw. is like don't you need like five points of handicraft or something dumb like that to get the max sharpness 290 purple sharpness to full handicraft yeah it's a lot of work I think Guild Palace was like 280 with 10% affinity. And it definitely gets purple a lot easier. So I don't know. I think I think this might beat it a little bit. Plus it came with like the affinity on it. I think uh, Guild Palace gets 15% affinity. KD Sleep is your favorite hunting horn? It's probably pretty good. I always liked the customization of the, uh, the Safi horns. I always thought that was fun. Think about getting full handicraft? Oh, uh, you'd, you'd use the handicraft talisman for sure. He was about to run. Am I going to end up in like the Kool Aid? 
Can you iframe his tail swipe? Uh, you can. I don't know if it's worth the risk. Furious Rajang is better than Raging Bracky? Really? Are you only considering like raw damage? What's the plural of Glavinus? Glave ain't I? Raging Bracky doesn't get attack up large. Doesn't get attack up at all, really? Shows what I know. I don't know nothing. What does he get? Attack up small plus attack up large combined? Or uh, attack up plus defense up? That, I like that song better anyways. I don't really care about the extra 5% attack. Having the extra defense would probably be, like, much more beneficial for me, like, not dying. Oh, he's... Abnormal status protection? Does that count for being on fire? <laughs> if so, that might be beneficial. He's not going to make it. No way. I like how they're just randomly biting him. Oh, Divine Blessing's amazing for a group, yeah. I was always fine just to play attack up and defense up. I felt like that was doing more than enough for helping groups survive.
Fire Mantle might absolutely be worth it for Fatalis, yeah. I mean, I'm going to be getting at least three-piece T.O. And then whatever to fill out the rest. I haven't really thought about that much. I've been playing the Monster Hunter series for? I first played it around like maybe 2006 or 2007 with Monster Hunter Freedom. I don't know if it was like December of 2006 or January of 2007, but it was around there. Long time. He has not really done a lot of claw staggers, has he? I still think the games are great, by the way. I know it's like a lot of old timers that play it and like, it's not the same Monster Hunter it used to be, but I think it's great. I still have a blast in the, the modern games. Vulgar Helm? Maybe, depends what we get for our uh, decos. Am I good? No. To some degree for Hunting Horn, it might be better to go more like attack. Because the songs don't benefit from crit at all. It shouldn't be that hard to get full crit if we want it, though, because we've got... We're going to have three-piece T.O. plus. I think this upgraded Hunting Horn's got like 15% affinity. It'll be enough. PS2 is your first. They turn paintballs into scout flies. I think scout flies are actually like... Maybe the most ideal form of like whatever the modern thing is. The, the Kahoot is, I think, too far. I don't think I'm going to make the Raging Bracky pieces. I don't know. We'll see. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna need them. Natural fuel reserves full. Okay, let's do something about that. Let's let's get some tickets. You got your Lunastra spike. Congratulations. I mean, I've beaten Fatalis with high rank gear before, right? What's your favorite monster? In general, it's Nergigante. You don't get the hate for scout flies. Sometimes they break your neck. <laughs> and sometimes they, like, tweak out. But in, in general, I, I think they're, they're okay. Because the, the issue is, is an old monster hunter, you either needed Psycho Serum or Auto Tracker... Because if you didn't get to the monster right away, like, you didn't know where they'd be. You'd just be wandering everywhere until you found them. And that was, that was kind of annoying. I think, I think the tracks are fine. I think investigations should not be tied to tracks. Use a mod to prevent the neck break? Yeah. That, that's my, my only real complaint was the neck breaking. Not finding the monsters a skill issue? You either got to bring uh, Psycho Serums or it is absolutely a skill issue. You never even used the Kahoot? Finding monsters in Rise was no issue for me? You mean you turned off the map? The Kahoot's automatic. 
Is it normal to be afraid of some of the monsters? Yeah, I was afraid of Tigrex for a really long time. Like, actually, I like, would be, like, stressed out. In Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, there's, like, a double Tigrex quest in G-Rank in the, in the hub. And that, that quest still, like, I'm traumatized by it. I mean, I, I can do it now. It's, like, no problem, but... Back then, it was scary. Did I see the guy supporting Stories 2 textures in Freedom Unite? No, but that's amazing? How does it look? Does it look good? It looks weird. I'm sure it looks weird. I wonder if we could change the blood to look more cartoony. I, I don't know how you screw that up. I just, I've never felt a wall like I've ever felt double Tigrix. I mean, and obviously, like, once you go through the entirety of Freedom Unite, you're probably not going to have too hard of a time later on. No, my first Monster Hunter was Freedom. I got stuck on Garuga because I thought I had to beat him. You do not need to beat him. You can just completely ignore him. And it's fine. Yeah, you just ignore him. He's not a real urgent. Yeah, we'll, we'll save the Celestial Print for later on in case we need it. Yeah, so I stopped playing Freedom because like, I'm like, I can't beat him. <laughs> I can't beat this monster. He's a dick. <laughs> so, I guess I'm I guess I'm guess good. Do you not get the option to like meld the tickets until like later? I guess not. Got gifted the World Expansion Nowhere. It's a fun game, man. You're going to have a great time. We're just supposed to know if you don't have to kill Garuga, just do all the other key quests and urgent quests as they come up. That's it. <laughs> just don't yell. The answer is... You don't got to do anything. Mm. So you'll get to the end, you'll get the credits, and there'll still be an urgent sitting there for Garuga. Opinion on Odog Odogron? He's one of the best fights in the, in the game. In the series, actually. We're about to fight Ebony Odo. Ebony Odo, uh, slightly... Less good than normal Odo, but still, still okay. Old games should have been more clear about key quests? Eh. That is a little bit charming to be like, just keep beating quests until you eventually get it. You're right. But also, eh. Why no element? Uh, I don't have any. So we're just going to have to beat him without element. So let's see if they use black. The uh, color of Ebony does not go into it. His his it's his behavior. He tweaks out a little bit. That's it. we're gonna be okay though.
say the ebony version of Hex worse? He's just really strong, and I'm not powerful enough to beat him normally. So I'm afraid of how strong he is. I'm a coward. Never said I wasn't. <laughs> oh, no. It's more of a uh, respect of how strong he is. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm getting baited so hard. The, uh, the normal Odo. Odo Classic. Nice save point. <laughs> Odo Classic is Tweakers, uh, because he starts off all pissed off anyways. But Ebony's always Tweakers if you don't have Element. No, I mean, he's the classic version. He's listed as the variant. I'm gonna, I am gonna try and wall bang him. <laughs> I'm telling you, uh. Clutch Claw without Temporal Rock Steady Mantle, actually kind of cool. You actually have to kind of work for it. Whoop! <laughs> you missed! You dummy. Something's there. Something's coming down. Woo! Oh no, my non-element. Honestly, if I stick with this weapon, getting a non-elemental deco would actually be pretty nice. Huh? Infernity reduce affinity. Dragon Blight reduce affinity in third gen. Uh, try it, did. You guys gonna fight?
Can I talk? Talk about what? We already talked about highways once this stream. I don't need to talk about it again. <laughs> talk about parkways? The hell? Hate that I need a PC or Switch for Monster Hunter Rise. Would you rather play it on a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox? I guess. Blame Nintendo. It's almost definitely their fault. The Iceborne Monsters, who has the best overall charge blade? Uh... I think Elemental File is pretty good, but if you had to pick one Impact File, I think it's just Fatalis. Oh, damn. Oh, he just... He just starts tweaking immediately. Oh, I'd lost all hope that something would come out on the Vita uh, by Generations was by the time Generations came out. That was I was like, no way anything like that is happening. Thank you, Gadgets. Oh, there's no way the Switch could ever run Monster Hunter World. Can you play Freedom and stuff on the Vita? Yeah. If they're still in the storefront, you should be able to. There's not going to be any easy way to get it online, but if you're just playing solo, it doesn't really matter. The first bleed? I guess it is. Play Rise on the Steam Deck? It's not like you'd easily get a Steam Deck now, though. Types are good against Elder Dragons? Depends on the Elder Dragon. They're all different. They're all weak to different stuff. I mean, in terms of what element is good, I mean, that... That all depends on the monster you're fighting and what weapon you use. Rise frame rate in the Switch is surprisingly consistent. That's impossible. It is impossible for there to be consistent frames and to count frames. Devil Joe? Dragon or Thunder are both pretty good. Knock it off!
there's there are issues in the flooded forest. That is that is absolutely true. He's zooming. He's out. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, no. That might be it. That's okay. He's pretty close. It was he dropped two pods, I think. Something like that. The saddest part about the mid-generation upgrades from the last, you know, PS4, Xbox is like, nothing felt like you were really getting a premium console. Like, the Xbox One X didn't feel like it was that much of a better loading time or graphics or anything else. Progress update? I mean, Ebony's in capture range. Washed up. I was... Stunned? And he had done a counter. I didn't stand a chance. It was an SSD? It was slightly more powerful. Skillish? He was already ready for capture. How do you know? Took you almost 30 minutes to beat Fatalis a few days ago? With like speedrun gear or with like real gear? Game requirements scaled up more than the console specs did? Maybe. People are still playing on a base Xbox. There's at least one person in this chat who's still like, just has an Xbox One as their main gaming console. No. They've got like their Kinect. It's all hooked up. Xbox, turn on! That's that's their life. Think about them. Did I even heal? I like Game Pass. That's real bougie console shaming. Upgrade your Xbox One, okay? Get a Series S. My main is a base PS4. Better than the Xbox One. Wait, if that's your main, like, what's your backup? Like, what do you, what do you go to when you can't play on your main PS4? Yeah, like a PlayStation 3? An Xbox 360? going on over there? <laughs> you don't need this one. I know, it's pretty bad. The NES? <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet, though. Oh, 
What's master rank? It comes after high rank. Goes low rank, high rank, master rank. PlayStation 3 and a Switch? I get it. I feel you. What's mine? What's my master rank? Uh, on what version? I'm almost 999 on the PlayStation 4. I should probably just max that out. Maybe we could do that. Maybe we like do some hunts on the PlayStation 4 and I can get my H my MR maxed out. I don't know what it is on PC. I think it's like seven or eight hundred. You're flying through this game. No one will believe you. You can't hack on the PlayStation, can you? Oh wait, no, didn't Nah, there was a guy who paid somebody to hack his PlayStation save. And give him like handicraft decos. How much do I play? I play for a living. I'm a full time monster hunter streamer. I probably play between like around 40 hours of Monster Hunter a week. Sometimes I play it off, um, off stream too. That dude is dead. <laughs> Huntsman is dead. He's not moving or saying anything. He's dead. Buy some time. What if he just like trebucheted the body over so Valkana kept attacking it? That's an interesting uh, detail that I didn't notice. The uh, ace cadet actually goes in to try and save the uh, old hunter. Carrot, please. You hurt me. Don't, why, why you gotta hurt me with your words? I'm so strong. That's a nice thing of you to say. I don't know if it's deserved, but thank you. Just an internet clown that plays a lot of Monster Hunter. How many pickles have I killed? Like, over the course of every game together? We're probably, like, probably close to a thousand. I think a thousand is an exaggeration, guys. You think, like, if you go all the way back to try, it's probably at least a thousand. I think I've hunted any individual monster more than Urchigante. Probably Kutku. Just think about how many times starting up an older game in this series, how many times you'd end up fighting Kutku. You committed great Jagras genocide? It's not even necessary, though. For what? It's not necessarily a hundred flying wyverns, it's just a hundred wyverns. And there's just some that don't count.
Great Jaggers is good for testing builds. Have we been anus? Uh, we carded like once against um, Acidic Lavinous. I don't think we even need to do this. No, we d we carded to Acidic Lavinous as well. How did I already forget? Did you not watch the Acidic Lavinous fight? Not real fan, fake fan? I've looked at the newest pin in the meme channel. I don't think I have. What other language options are there in world? All the like main European ones, plus Japanese. Drop the Dragon Razor again. It's not like I always drop the Dragon Razor. I think I've whiffed it once. Like, what happens here is you get to the very end, and, like, it can blast you with ice as you're loading it. I told you what was possible, didn't I? I mean, what can you even say? What can you even say about that? Why would somebody make this?
I saw the detail on the phone in front. Yeah. Yeah. I saw it. I saw it. It was good. Do Pookie Pookie? Bro, I'm on Velcana. We already did Pookie. I've actually killed three Pookies. Two normal ones and then the Coral Pookie. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the hell it is. Don't ask me. I should probably upgrade my cat's weapon, huh? There's probably something better he could have. You've killed 20? Why, why are you, like, so focused on killing, like, the trash monsters? Para? That'd be good. You're scared? Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't mean to bully. I don't want to bully you. Especially the rotten veil. I understand. And the rotten veil is pretty creepy. It's not very good para. Otherwise, I would use it. We might watch the boys after this hunt. I think we might do that. Say goodbye to the plebs. It's going to get blasted. Season 3, Episode 1? It's kind of like mega spoilers. They should really sponsor you to play Season 1, Episode 1. I don't even know how to start a watch party, by the way. Like, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, you'll, you'll, have, you'll have plenty of warning. Yeah, I mean, it's their, like, it's kind of weird when you think about it. Like, it should be a watch party that's open for everybody to get people to want to subscribe to Amazon Prime and watch the show. That's really dumb, actually. Right? They own the rights to it. Whatever, man. You've done Zora a hundred times? Who hurt you? <laughs> what are you doing? Why? <laughs> I mean... I like Zora, but like, what? Been farming lowering Pookie for the last 10 hours. Any tips? You're, you're on a different level than me. No, I mean, I like Zora. I don't like Zora a hundred times Zora, but I like Zora. I believe 100 Zoras. I do not believe 13,000 hour Dauntless guy. 
Don't ask his age. Dude, that's so rude. They're clearly 28 years old. Oh, AG, I know. Stranger danger, blow the whistle. You're right, AT, AT's or stuff is okay. A.T. Kushala was... A.T. Kushala was a premonition of the nightmare that would become Master Rank Kushala. Not that you ever really had to fight it. Minimum age for Twitch counts? You gotta be 13. Do I like Sora? I probably like it more than most people. Most people hate that fight. I think I'm always an apologist for it. I don't know. Pink T Rex is my boy. Why does this game make you fight Velcana three times in the story? Uh, to build up the, the actual fight. The first time you fight it, he doesn't even have his ice armor. Second time you fight it, he's got his ice armor but you've got all the equipment. Final time, it's a real fight. Oh, he's going for the cat. I thought he was going for me. <laughs> are you okay? What, what are you talking about? Use pod screamer? Are you mean... Screamer pods or streamer pods? Streamer pods? I can't see why I'm typing. I believe you. Scrammer! Scrammer pots! Yeah, this is, this is what a hundred this is what hundred Zaras does to your brain. Screamer! I thought you meant streamer pots. No, I got max potions. A slurp on one. My <laughs> streamer pods. Can you call me Scrammer now? Absolutely. I didn't really want to do that. When I'm going to do a 100 Zora challenge, I, I have already been beaten. Did he just break his own wings? I think he did. I love the way that sounds. There are no crowns for Zora right now. It's a fixed size. Yeah, there's a popping pipples. All right, all right, all right. 
All right, if you counted up all of my speed runs, I've probably done 100 Zoras. Especially if you count like Zora 1 and Zora 2 separately. I don't even pop the pimples. Hey, Tornado Twister, when you fight Zora, do you break, do you break the things on him? His little mul do you, do you, do you break his magma force? You hate me in the comments? What are you, what is, what is going on? I definitely have more than 200. Actually, I probably have 300. I, pr I might have some of the most, outside of the people that were going for those history book records, which is like, This is a kid. Of course they're a child. What are you getting to about? Speed run for gold crowns on every monster? I think it's a great idea. I want to get him in the hole. Come here, please. Eh. Let a nightshade go? How, how well? How do you think it went? Close. Think this game lets you mail Maestro Decos at this point in the game? I don't know. I already have Maestro level one. From the, the Tacit. Honestly, I should check to see if I can make the Odo Tacit, though. How is your mom not caught by Auto Mom? That's bullying level one. Your mom is a bully. She's at least a level two. I've never really had an experience like this in Twitch chat before. I'm as curious as you guys are. My rank is OP? Rank doesn't mean anything. Rank's about as important as PP size. Oldest Monster Hunter player? <laughs> Not that old. I 
I don't want to say toxic things. I don't want to be a bad influence on the child. I don't want them to think that it's appropriate to say toxic things on the internet. I'm trying to be a good example. Kids need to learn their place? The last one I tried to teach them to learn their place owes me $5. They can't even pay me. Like, all right, well, I guess I just got to settle for the incest today. But outside of that, you're proud of me, Fume? Thank you. I'm trying to grow. Ooh, I got myself a new favorite booby streamer. Ooh, what sort of delights do I have tonight? With <laughs> the child in place. Yeah, I'm going to kick that six-year-old's ass. Look. It's, it's a, it's, it's been, it's been a hard time for everyone. Okay. And if anyone's had it real bad, it's yeah, probably been the kids. <laughs> Somebody redeem bubble. <laughs> I didn't fi I, I started watching the NRA interview. I never I did not finish it. I like Channel 5 a lot. What's the uh, reporter's name? Andrew Callahan? He's very talented. We're lucky to have him. Watching the stream help him out? Actually, probably he's probably got a Patreon, doesn't he? <laughs> Become a patron. I am a patron for Red Letter Media. I'm a Patreon for uh, Video Game Preservation Project. And I think I might Patreon something else. I can't remember. Channel 5 is better than Red Letter Media? I, I watch a lot of Red Letter Media, though. Uh, Channel 5 probably needs the support more, but... Grifted by hack frauds. I, look, it takes one to know one. They've been a hack fraud as long as I have. This is the ama amazing part. Am I trying to fight Noxella? I've, I don't think I've ever actually seen Noxella do one moderation action. We do the boys? I mean, we're doing the boys. Uh, it's gonna happen. Just sit. Just, just don't go anywhere. Things that we're doing. We're doing the boys. Do you have no confidence in my ability to win this fight? Just, just wait one second. What do I think? I see. That's why you should not echo note spam. You just miss with everything. Whoop. 
Whoa. What? <laughs> Whoa. Screamer, how I feel about the boys? I feel I feel somewhat worse. He's like one hit away. This is the Guild Palace hunting horn. I blame Chat for that. I don't. I don't. I rarely blame people for my mistakes, but I'm blaming you guys. I'm so distracted right now. Is the Rise DLC going to be good? Yeah, it'll be all right. Embarrassing himself in front of young children. You know what's worse than than having a child in chat? Is having, like, somebody, like, pretending to be a child in chat. Which is what I think this actually is. A child. I know there's one around here somewhere. <laughs> I think kids are that dumb. I'm on to something. I've been I've been around Twitch long enough to to know. You guys are getting played like a fiddle. <laughs> You're a fiddle. How dare you? Eh. Eh. <laughs> I don't like being called a fiddle. Who's going on here? It's it's weird, man. Not a fan of the uh, counter there. Get the stamina. <laughs> Man, when was the last time you guys uh, killed a monster with like the hunting knife? Like the mounting knife? It really does type kind of like an AI. I haven't seen any of the Jurassic Park movies past the first one. Springbacker voice EMTL. Look, you, you, you type the words you do the time. You're a dual blade main? Figures.
<laughs> Chevy. You're gonna transition to hammer? Don't be sad. Oh my. She's getting a lot of, <laughs> a lot of. Whew. The hunter's eyes have always. The hunter's eyes? Oh, she's she's tweaking out. Hunt, hunter is super tweaking out right now. She's got too much bile energy. How is she not cold? Yeah, no, she's got like a doe's mask. I don't I don't remember seeing she might have one scene where she wears it. Gidel, isn't that the uh, other lawyer in Ace Attorney 3? Yeah, it's good though. Do I like the handler? She's all right. This is like a weird... You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the person that... Um, was like role playing Gora Magala in YouTube chat. You guys remember that guy? That's like this guy. That's what that is. You like you like the Gora Magala role play over Lord Dean? Are you not talking about the video game? Is your account created? Uh, did I see the meme of me getting gyrating during Jill Biden's stamp reveal? Yeah. This one? I wasn't right there because we looked at it. <laughs> so then my mom would say it's my brother. I don't think she'll believe it. Well, Sunbreak have NFTs. I don't think so. Can't believe that happened in real life. It did happen in real life. All right. Well, as weird as this has been, why do that though? She would probably laugh. <laughs> She's got a sense of humor. <laughs> 
Especially if she knew the con. I didn't even know the context that it was Jill Biden's stamp reveal. I gotta. I don't know what you guys are all doing. I gotta watch the boys. I make some chatter. <laughs> so you keep doing whatever you want. Stick around. Obviously, where the hell's the start bounty thing? I don't even see it. Oh, there it is. Does it mean I'm kicking my brother out? If he's got Amazon Prime, he could watch. I don't actually know how to start the watch party. <laughs> I don't actually know how to do that. Will the boys have ads? Uh, I don't think so. Watch party. I got to go to like a help channel. Oh, it's an action. I figured it out. That really wasn't that bad. Why do I gotta log in? <sighs> Have I had my water today? Not enough. Clearly not enough. My weapon is lame compared to dual blades. All right, you're lame. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Okay, I'm done. I was fine until I was sassed uh, specifically. <laughs> 